Okay, I think I'm just about ready to get started. I'm just looking at one or two settings. <laughs> it's greeted with a OBS surprise this morning, hence the a couple minute delay. It apparently forgot all of my Tales of Fantasia settings. So that was fun. <laughs> uh, so let's let's ease into the gameplay itself. So last time I said I was going to take a look to see if I missed anything. I didn't end up looking at any guides. I I'm just assuming we've seen everything at this point in terms of titles. As honestly, rewatching the video, I don't even see where anything else could be. But um, in terms of cutscenes, I did go back and I replayed on normal mode. And wow, normal mode is way, way, way easier than hard mode. So let's switch over to the gameplay and see how things go from there. One second chat. Hey Kirk, how's it going? I think that looks okay. Yeah, unfortunately I lost all my settings for uh, how I had the screen position, so it might be in a slightly different position between Part 1 and Part 2, so apologies for that. But this is just the position it ended up at. So yeah, um, to give you an idea of how easy normal mode is, chat, it took me 32 minutes to reach the crypt. Compared to hard mode. 32 minutes, chat. That includes all the cutscenes, because I can't skip those. I have to sit through all those cutscenes. So yeah, it was easy. And in 10 minutes... I had not only beaten the boar, but I left the forest. And again, that's with cuts, and that includes the opening cutscene, by the way, which you can't really skip. So anyway, it was a complete stomp. So I'm just going to go back to these three prior points that I went to in normal mode. Um, you might notice I changed the character names to better reflect how I feel about them at the moment. So let's go back and listen to some skits, because I think I missed these three sets specifically. That is not the skip button. This is the skip button. Oh, uh, we better hurry back. So anyway, that was skit number one. <laughs> they only have two for that one. Hey Chris, how's it going? We're just showing out how easy normal mode was for me. Again, 10 minutes to beat the boar. It took like no time. I know, we're, we're gonna hurry, chat, I swear. Anyway, post-burning. Oh, Uncle Olsen will help us, all right. Okay, so there's only two for that. So, only plot related. He looks downtrodden having seen his entire village burn down. Let's go to the next set. Yeah, chat, like, just to give you an idea, comparing the two difficulties from my limited visuals, damage seemed to be half, HP seemed to be times two. They might have some other stats that are impacted, but I didn't really use spectacles to take a look at them. So anyway, chat, we're now teamed up again with um, the best average and useless yet again to go ahead and see what happens before we enter the crypt, what happens. I'm not sure if there is a new skit here, but we might as well check. Because if you remember, we teamed up here. Also, you could pause mid-step. I did not know that. That's weird. Why can I, why can I pause mid-step like that? Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so they just talk about catching up to Morrison. I know we definitely saw the how did you end up getting captured. So I believe maybe that we didn't miss anything then. Other than I think the first two sets. So we definitely, definitely watched the betrayal one. Because I, I remember remembering that I forgot to check the skits. Yeah, okay. That's it. Nothing special. Silly characters. So anyway, that's our team. 
I love their levels though. 543. Silliness chat. If you're curious, I think it does force you to be level 3 every time you beat the boar. I think I got into one fight for like 6 experience, but I went from 1 to 3. I, I think I literally did three random encounters in order to get to the same point that I was at that 34 minute mark. I otherwise just only did boss battles. <laughs> Normal mode's pretty easy, chat. So, you know what? We're not going to bother getting spectacles for the other enemies. I, I don't really care ultimately one way or another. We've seen them from a gameplay standard, and that's all that really matters to me. So let's continue onwards from here. So as the title of the stream suggests, please give me anybody but Mint. <laughs> please give me a real proper party member. Uh, we will want to not explore at all because I don't really want to be in combat with her. I just want to check one thing. Why is she the first character? What? I don't know how that happened. Yeah, yeah we're not playing as Mint. Get out of here. Madness chat. I'm like, yeah, if I want to do no damage, I guess I could play as her. Well, let's start by investigating stores. Accessory store draw. So we have a lot of apple gummies, which is good because we might need it. Hmm, flare bottle. You know what? We'll take one flare bottle. That that could help speed up boss battles. Elven boots. A pair of boots that boost movement speed in battle by 20%. Um, that's really expensive, and I have a feeling, given that it's this expensive, the game will probably give us one, and if it doesn't give us one, we can always come back later. Well, hello, Chris. You just redeemed name the next. So who who would you like to name? Got that little Yakuza 0 sting. It, I had to think about what command you use there, because I haven't heard that used yet. I don't think in stream. So I'll just make sure I buy the flare bottle. I would like boss battles to not take 20 years. So what, what would you like to name Mint, presumably? The message didn't go through. Uh, it might be because I had to redo the capture, so it probably didn't show up stream on the stream. Yeah, let, let me fix something, as I said before. Alright, now going forward it should do it. Oh, it doesn't let me replay the alert. Well, yeah, it just said rename Mint to Elo in the chat, so Chris is not lying. <laughs> it is there. So he can't change his mind because it's in there. Huh, I did not know you could not replay that alert. I guess you can't replay the redemptions. Interesting. Actually, speaking of which... Let's make sure it doesn't capture my cursor. That was one thing I forgot to change. My apologies, chat. Hopefully that cursor wasn't bothering you. Well, let's go ahead and rename her. There we go. She's now double A. What do these people have to say? Young boy says, Mister, are you a swordsman? Hmm? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Next time, teach me some sword moves, okay? I want to get stronger. Well, she says, due east of this village, there's a certain cave. It's called the Cave of Spirits. Okay. I feel like we have very little interaction with the environment in this game, which makes me feel a little sad. How am I going to talk about the flower arrangements, chat? It's not fair. You can't take this from me. Old man says it's about time to start making dinner. I'm still investigating pots and things like that in case there are hidden items in here. So far, I'm not finding anything. Young girl says, who are you? Are you from around here? Yeah, so far nothing. Oh, I got pulled into a cutscene. Wow, I was like all the way over there and it still got me. Blonder does not sh share Blondie's love for flower arrangements, exactly. 
<clears throat> villager one says, hey, who are they? They're not from around here. You're right. Where could they come from? <laughs> what gave it away? The ridiculous combination of the bandana and cape or the fact that she's dressed like a nurse? <laughs> right, chat? Um, excuse me. Where? Oh, they looked away from us. Oh, hello, old man. Oh, wow. His eyebrows are ridiculous. Are his eyebrows longer than his beard? That's ludicrous, chat. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Wow, that, that is a look. Um, visitors? How unusual. I am the village elder. If you don't mind my asking, where did you come from? Oh, um, that is... My name is Blonder. I came from Totus Village. Uh, Blonder, we time travel. You probably shouldn't say that. This is Aloe. Jeez, chat, they're so dumb. To put it simply, we're sent here by some kind of methodism. When we awoke, we found ourselves in the grasslands nearby. Yeah, Elder better, like, quintuple dot 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 us. Actually, I think there's six. It's a sectuple. Totus? Yeah. Blondie, they, they talked about time travel. Come on. How did you not pick that up from the gameplay? <laughs> Even we know that they we time traveled. Come on. Dot 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 dot. Never heard of it. Have any of you heard of it? Huh? Hmm. You don't appear to be lying. Just really stupid. <laughs> I've, al I've also never heard of this power you call Methodism. Are you sure it wasn't some kind of sorcery? Blonder just shared Blondie's lack of intelligence. It runs in the protagonist family chat. Sorcery? No, that's not it. Sorcery is a lost power. It disappeared from this world ages ago. Blondie, you're so dumb. Sorcery is a lost power? It seems there is much to discuss, but there's no reason to continue standing here. Why don't you join me in my home? We could speak at length there. If you don't mind, come this way. I know, that's that's a big O Blonder moment. Hey, looks like something interesting's going on. Let's go check it out. It's like, wow, the Elder found a complete idiot. <laughs> I've never seen somebody that stupid before. Let's watch. Elder says, that's right. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Linnaeus. No, 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 you're Elder. Listen, we're, we're playing by uh, <laughs> Shadow Hearts rules. Whatever name you give us first, that's what we're going to call you. Elder, who's trying to pretend his name is Linnaeus, says, pleased to meet you. Oh no, the pleasure is all ours. Elder, I know I've heard that name somewhere before. Now, for starters, I find it very strange that you would call sorcery a lost power. That's how I learned the story from my mom. In the past, there was definitely a power known as sorcery, but after a certain point in time, it simply ceased to exist. Ch chat, does he still not realize he's time-traveled? <laughs> he still doesn't get it, chat? Oh man, he's given Detective Doki a run for his money chat. Like, this is like... Come on, Blonder. How, how many flags do you need to be told? You wake up in a strange land after being told multiple times the other villain can time travel, and you were sent somewhere safe. Like, come on. It's not where he placed you, it's when he placed you. Come on, Blonder, figure it out. Elo says, Elder... You mentioned this before, but have you truly not heard of Methodism? It is the power to restore. Restored power? First aid. Oh, a way to way to use your black magic on him. <laughs> that 
that's a way to gain trust. Just use it on him. <laughs> With, without any warning or consent. Just use it. I'm sure that'll go over well. Oh ho! What a wonderful feeling. But I do not know of it. <laughs> you see, I burned the witch. Exactly! In return, allow me to show you my power. The power of sorcery. That is a voice that they gave, Elder. Flames, come forth! Elder, did you just burn your own house down? What did you just hit with the fireball? What did you just hit? <laughs> Something exploded. <laughs> Can you imagine if it was like, the, like, villager number three is like, Hold on guys, I had to come back to my house. What did I met? And they're just gone. He just gets wiped. <laughs> uh, amazing! Could this be the power we need to defeat Douse? What? Did you just say Douse? Do you know about Douse? How could I not know of him? The people of this world live every day in the darkness of his shadow. Even now we could do nothing but watch as his power and influence spread across the land. What? But Douse has only just awoken from the seal. Oh my gosh. Chat, they are so dumb. I just, my brain can't handle it. <laughs> wow. Just wow. Mace the just moved to get away from Adol and then sudden fireball. That would be a great cameo. From the seal? What do you mean? Even I do not remember how many years ago have gone by since Daos first appeared. Years have gone by. Wait, do you think it's somehow possible we were sent into the future? Wonder, wouldn't it make more sense you were sent into the past before... before he was freed? Mm hmm, the future. You just said sorcery is a lost art. How did you make the wrong conclusion? <laughs> like, we're clearly in the past, come on. Oh, I think I understand. This is probably the past, the era before Douse was ever sealed away. Oh my gosh. I know, chat. Wow. A Aloe's using her, like... I I she's proved to have at least two brain cells. Because our protagonist was just, like, swinging a miss every time, chat. I see. That's why I thought... Elder's name sounded familiar. It's the name of the church in Totus which was named after the founder of the village. Well, way to spoil the future. <laughs> you know what? Out of spite, he could just choose not to call it Totus now and just cause branching timelines. This is why you don't talk about the future. You're gonna mess things up, Blonder. This must be the world of the past, says, says the last horse to finish the race on that one. The past, the future. What are you trying to say? This is the year 4202 in the Asalian calendar. Blonder and Aloe dot 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 him. A hundred years ago! Oh, I can, wow, look at the pretty butterfly! I can hardly believe it! Blonder is stepping on so many butterflies. I agree, chat. He's, he's looking at those pretty butterflies. Yeah, I know what you mean. But with this, Elder not knowing about Methodism finally makes sense. The Order of the Methodists was not founded until 4210 in the Assalian calendar. So in this era, Methodism hasn't even been fully developed yet. Oh. Chad, I was just joking about Villager 3 getting hit. I think this is Villager 3. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> He did hit somebody with the fireball. What a jerk. Sir, what were you thinking about doing that without any warning? I know, villager. This village really has, like, consent issues. I know. Apparently, this is... Maybe this is Adol when he gets older, chat. <laughs> I don't know what to say, so I'm gonna pace back and forth rapidly. 
So our first visitors to the village in ages turn out to have come from the future. I'm not sure I could bring myself to believe it. I understand how you feel, but I'm convinced it's the truth. Even having been through it all myself, I still don't know if I fully believe it. But more importantly, would you mind telling us more about Dallas and sorcery? Hmm. It is said that Dallas cannot be harmed except by sorcery. Without the ability to use it, defeating him is an impossible goal. In other words, sorcery is absolutely essential. However, the two of you will never be able to use sorcery. W why not? I can plainly see that neither of you carry the blood of the elves. You are both pure-blooded human beings. Sorcery itself is bound to the elven bloodline. Uh-oh, Chad, are we gonna recruit Rufus? <laughs> like, what's happening here? The elves? That's right. Only those of elven lineage are capable of spinning together the threads of mana into what we call sorcery. That can't be. Then for us, defeating Daos is... What? Giving up so easily? All you need is to seek the aid of powerful individuals who can use magic. You swordsmen are useless. <laughs> so we might as well just say that, chat. Do you know of any sorcerers that you could introduce to us? Oh, please give us a third party member. Please do not make me journey to get a third party member. Wait just a moment now. Did the two of you truly intend to confront Daos? Absolutely. We are determined. This is something we have to do. Well, even so. Please help us. We must defeat Douse, no matter what the cost. Morrison and Quill are waiting for us. <laughs> I don't really care about Morrison, but I want Quill back. Elder says, unfortunately, I don't know any sorcerers that fit your needs. Is that right? If that's the case, do you know where we might be able to meet any elves? Now, don't jump to conclusions. To the north, in the village of Euclid, there lives a man by the name of Clarth. His name is so ridiculous, I'm pretty sure he's the next protagonist. Although he's human, no one can match the passion with which he has studied magic. Wait, how does that work? He's like, you need sorcery, only an elf can use it. Now go find a human. <laughs> like, wait. Wait, game, aren't you contradicting yourself here? Day in and day out, he has worked tirelessly to research, hoping to find a way for humans to wield magic. Oh, okay. Then we should definitely pay a visit to this Clarth. I, I know, Chad, that, that feels like a randomizer name. Like, I don't know, it reminds me of like the old Game Boy game Quarth, like Q-U-A versus K-L-A. Indeed. However, I'll warn you, he's known to be a bit, bit of an eccentric and he's often quite blunt. You could be in for an icy reception at first. I almost feel like he's gonna, <laughs> I was gonna say, did the other person know ice magic? Because that would be a good pun. But I assure you, he really is a good man at heart. Also, I wasn't I wasn't really looking at his character graphic, I was reading the dialogue, but it, it, why is his head sparkling now? If you explain your situation, I'm sure that he'll be willing to help you. I understand, thank you so much. Please, thanks aren't necessary. The fire in your eyes reminds me of the days when I still called myself a sorcerer. Hmm. So in my place, I ask that you protect this world and passionately seek knowledge. Linnaeus, thank you so much. I understand how you feel. But you must rest when you grow weary, and remember to call me Elder. That said, I'd like to ask you to stay the night. Please relax and get some rest. Thank you. We are in your debt. I know, I hope it's a pun chat. That's all I can hope for. Now then, it's already late, so we should get to bed.
Yes, let's do that. Um, Blonder. Um, what is it? There's only one bed. That is... I, I mean... Will we... Both... Be sleeping here tonight? Huh? Wow, he is so unobservant. Jeez, chat. Oh, n no, no, I'm, uh, I'm gonna sleep on the floor. Good night. That's certainly an animation. Hundred years in the past. Will we ever be able to return to our own timeline? We defeat Douse in this era. Will we be able to change history and save Morrison and Quill? Blonder, are you still awake? She asks out loud while the other two people are sleeping right in front of her. Y yeah. Starting tomorrow. Let's do our best, okay? Yeah, you got it. Blonder. Oh, look at that. The animation of putting a blanket on them. Look at that, chat. They're going all out with the visuals. The timeline is doomed if they're the heroes. I agree, chat. Blonder, good morning. Elder said we should take this. You tame the world map. I ref I refuse to believe that there is nothing in this village for us to steal, chat. We're we're gonna keep looking around. Let's talk to the wife. Sophia, are you hungry? Would you like something to eat? Sure. Then eat up. You learn how to make a cheeseburger. Wait, it she. Did we really need a recipe to learn a cheeseburger? I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty self-evident, to be honest. Have you been able to see Cloth? What, you still haven't? Cloth lives in Euclid Village, if you've forgotten. That says meow. Alright, uh, so now we're able to explore a bit more. Hmm... What great weather, huh? There's nothing like living the peaceful life. What is this Dao guy really like? All I know is he's supposedly the leader of a ruthless army. Hmm. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I could get back here? Huh. Can I steal anything? That's disappointing. I don't even talk about the fire being hot. There's an iron strongbox here. Shopkeeper Charles says, Don't just come back here and take stuff. Oh, sorry. It's empty when Dad gets back. I'll really get it. Oh, I didn't know. Cheeseburger was invented hundreds of years ago by elves. It's truly a magical food. Apparently. Uh, well, what happens if we talk to him while we're back here? Right now, Dad and Grandpa are out getting stuff to make weapons, so I'm helping out here. Mister, are you a swordsman? In that case, take this book. Isn't this an Ogi text? We learned demonic fangs. Well, that's random. Sure, I guess? I was expecting him to just tell us off for being behind the counter. Let's take a look at the weapons. Oh, so it's square to see the additional information. Uh, We could buy the battle axe again. But see, the problem I have with this chat is aren't we about to just go to another town? So like, why even bother purchasing anything here? Right? Like, wouldn't I be able to just get better stuff in the other town? So I, I, I'm going to skip it for now, chat. I just want to make sure we talk to this guy in general in case there's something weird where we get items based off of who we talk to, a la Suikoden. But yeah. 
I'm not really sure. I feel like we haven't really... I was trying to think if I wanted to go to the northeast. I guess I'll go to the northeast after talking to these people. But I feel like we haven't really found anything in this village, so I'm going to look a little longer until we at least find something. Woman says, I used to be able to use a little bit of sorcery, but lately I feel like my power has been getting weaker. Maybe I'm just imagining things. No, we talked to this guy. I think we didn't talk to the kid. Who cares about monsters? I'll take them all out myself. Oh yeah, that looks like a dead end. Hmm. Oh, there is something back here. A tame panacea bottle. Orange gummy. Uh, oh, you can actually... Oh, you can actually walk through there. Oh, I thought that was just, like, depth. Like, to give the little stream a bit more graphic detail, but we can actually take a shortcut across there. Huh. Kinda neat. I'm not used to seeing that in video games. So, yeah, I guess we'll take a look at the new technique we just picked up. Why is it default to her? Tiger Fang? We haven't unlocked Tiger Fang. Spoilers! <laughs> Right, chat? Spoilers. So we need to do more Swallow Kick and, and Demon Fang slash Demonic Blade. Sure. So let's not mess around. I really want this third party member, chat. I don't want to do any combat until we get him. Preferably. Just like right at the entrance. That's such a tease. We're trading up Demon Fang chat. Or Majinkin, which I think was also translated as Missile Sword until this new one. Oh, we're getting there. They are so tanky that they're still not dead. And this should be the last one. Mastered. I think it said mastered at the top. It was kind of quick. This takes forever to kill things in hard mode. This is painful, chat. How close are we to mastering it? One more move? Okay. Okay, it does say it was mastered at the top. So we now have a new technique, at least. It only took all of our TP to beat that encounter, which is kind of scary. So, I guess I should assign this new ability. Demonic Kick, an advanced ability that combines Demonic Blade and Swallow Kick. I guess we'll take a look at this. Oh, you know what this is probably, chat? You know what this attack is? This is probably Sword Rain from the future games. I was trying to think what move this was. This was really going to bother me. I had like an epiphany just now. Sword Rain is actually pretty good. I love spamming that in other games. I'm not sure if it's good in this game, but we'll figure it out. So we have two choices here. It tells us to beware the northern path. Hmm. Honestly, I kind of just want another character. As long as we don't get locked out of other areas, right? Like, we know there's a forest to the south, because this is just, this is just a rehash of the first map we were on. But, like, do I really want to do it with just Blonder and Aloe? Probably not. Let's, let's save here. And honestly, I forget if I w saw the skits for when we first left the other area. So we'll do that at the end of the stream, maybe. Let's go view some skits now, though. Oh, 
レオニスさんはおっしゃっていましたけれど変わり者かなんだか心配だな大丈夫ですよ誠意を持って話せばきっと分かってくださいますそうだねよしじゃあゆっくりともらい急ごう So they're worried that he's gonna turn out to be a bit of an eccentric, but they don't really have a choice. So we had a hallucination that we, or a dream more accurately, that we saw Quill and then he's begging for help. And we're being told it's exhaustion, but it still troubles our mind. Also, Daijobu, things will be okay. ごめんなさい。いいんだ。なら、二人を救うことならできると思うかい。多分、いえ、きっと救えると思います。そうだよね。出なかったら、モリスンさんがこの時代に僕たちを送ったことも無意味になってしまうからね。So they were just wondering the impacts of time travel if we could save people in the past. So we're wondering if we could save the parents of the protagonist. Mint slash Aolo does not appear to believe so, but they both believe that we could save Quill. ユークリット村のクラースさんに会いに行こう。協力していただけるでしょうか。大丈夫。きっと力になってくれるさ。大丈夫。Don't don't worry. Quillarth will probably help us. Oh, another encounter. What a shame. Uh, I might just run from this encounter, to be honest with you, chat. Yeah, we're out of here. Until we get that third party member, I don't want to explore anywhere, chat. Not even like roughly. Oh, look, it's still a village. In scrawled out there. Blonder says, So what are you doing in a place like this? Woman says dot to dot to dot to dot to dot to dot. Hmm. Hello, what is it? That girl. She looks like she has a bad case of it. Really? Bad case of what? She doesn't look all that sick to me. You have it all wrong. Blunder, don't you understand? That girl is lovesick. Ugh. Hmm. What a weird name change, exactly. Lovesick? The vacant store and that suffocating tension. Why don't we see if we can help her out somehow? Oh, stare. I said store. Oops. Blunder says, I don't think we should get involved. Blunder, did you say something? N no nothing I don't want to get involved with this. Why do we care? Oh, there's an item over here. Fixed gummy. Okay, we're gonna have to explore this place pretty slowly. Uh, I guess we could use the inn. Traveler says, I'm a traveler. I come all the way from Venezia. Are you okay? A girl all alone on a trip like that. Oh, don't be condescending. I'm fine because I had divine protection. And also, I took a ton of holy bottles with me. Holy bottles are filled with amazing sacred power. Use one, it even keeps most monsters from coming near you. I guess we have to get involved due to plot. Sure, we'll spend 24 gold, whatever. Let's get our TP back, chat. Village that says, You know about the cave to the east of Belladum Village, right? I heard from someone who went in there that it's a hideout for a bunch of little kids. 
were those supposed th the supposed spirits? Yeah, we should probably re-explore every area. I'm imagining from a plot perspective, the bridge will be repaired in this timeline, so the game will want us to go over to the other continent. So I think when we get a third party member, we're going to choose to not do that, and we're going to just explore the rest of the main continent. Oh, there's this chest over here. Rune bottle. And a question mark rod. Um... Chat, I have an honest question. Why would I... Why would I waste a rune bottle on a rod for a character I don't care about? We're not going to identify it, chat. <laughs> Unless I save and then reload, because I'm like, what a waste of a root bottle. Why do, why do I care if she gets a damage upgrade? She can't do anything. Child says, a dragonfly! It's a dragonfly! F fine, we'll talk to this person again. Um, what is it? Nice weather we're having, huh? Launder, I didn't want you to try and pick her up. I'll try asking her. Excuse me. Oh wow, look at the pretty butterfly. Look at the pretty dragonfly, I agree, chat. If there's something troubling you, perhaps you'd like to talk about it. But what? But, but... Please, don't be afraid. I'll listen to whatever you have to say. Well, actually, there's someone that... that I'm in love with. I thought so. Who is he? His name is Elwyn. I believe he's in the equipment shop right now. In the equipment shop, I understand. Elwyn. Is this really plot related? Like, wh why do we care so much about this? Take that, farming goods. There's a house we could break into over here. Oh, I think I found Clarth by accident. Question mark, question mark, question mark. That you, Morald? If you brought tea, just leave it on the table over there, would you? Hmm. I excuse me, but are you Clarth? Hmm? I am, but you have some business with me, princess. Oh no. Clarth, we were hoping we might be able to learn something about the research you've done on magic. Magic? Oh, so you're here about my series of lectures on magical studies. Hmm. If that's all, if that's all, you could talk to Morald inside. You have to pay the 10,000 gold tuition up front. Honestly, we could probably afford that. We just have to sell a couple of things. What? A payment? We can't pay that much. Yes, we can. It takes like... It'll take us like an hour we could get to 10,000. Get out of here. Well then, I suppose I have nothing to teach you. Come again sometime, princess. Please stop calling me that. I'm so sorry. You see, you never bothered to give me your name in the first place. And this is our first meeting. Or am I mistaken about that? Oh, I... I, I... I'm so sorry. My name is Alo Adenade. This is Blonder. Ten out of ten. Lord, the ability to use magic is absolutely essential to us. We must use it to defeat Daos. To defeat Daos? Are you serious? Hmm. <laughs> Even for an excuse to get free magical training, arrogance like that crosses the line. What? That's so cruel. Larth, is that how you treat people when I'm not around? Merold, I can't believe you. Must you always be so blunt, rude, and downright thoughtless? Blunder or blunder? Definitely blunder at this point, chat. Just, just erase a little bit of the O and it makes sense. You've met these people, right? Did you even ask why they came here? Can't you muster even the slightest bit of social grace? You're an idiot. A complete fool. I imagine she would just be shouting Baka at this point, chat. Honestly. 
I'm so sorry about him. He's got the maturity of a little kid. Oh, I know. You should just forget about a guy like this. How about I introduce you to someone more dependable? A guy like this isn't needed, right? Why? Hey, what do you mean a guy like this? What's that supposed to mean? You don't like that. For someone unreliable like you, a guy like this is just fine. What the heck does that mean, unreliable? Just who was it that followed me all the way to this remote area? Oh my, I just can't seem to recall. I can't believe her. Go on, you two, just give him one last push. Um, we... No matter what, we still need Clark's cooperation. Cooperation? Yes, that's right. If that's the case, you should have just said so in the first place. Anyway, what was it you wanted to talk to me about? Hmm, from the future, you say? That's rather hard to believe. We won't try to force- Oh, excuse me, wrong person speaking. We won't try to force you to believe us, because we both have the same doubts about it. But regardless, it doesn't change the fact that we need your magic in order to defeat Daos. Please, is there any way we could convince you to lend us your power? I'm sorry to tell you that despite what you've been told, I cannot use sorcery myself. As I'm sure you could see, I'm neither an elf or a half-elf. I'm just an ordinary human being. My ears look pointing to you. <laughs> he came here after hearing about you from the Belladum village's elder. He seemed sure that, Clarth, you would have some kind of power that could help us. Dot 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 dot. Actually, there is a kind of magic that isn't limited to those of elven lineage. He is the anti-Rufus. By borrowing the power of the spirits, it is possible to attain a power that is equal to that of sorcery. That has been the focus of my research, searching out the means necessary for a human to harness the power of the spirits. That power is known as summoning. But you still can't actually use it, right? You're even noisier than usual today. The theory, at least, is sound and there's no reason it wouldn't work. All that's left is to actually form a pact with the spirit, and I should be able to control a power equal to sorcery. Well, this is definitely a concept that shows up in later Tales games. However, attempting to form a pact can be a rather dangerous undertaking. You see, the beings known as spirits have a tendency to live in places where humans cannot easily tread. Your names were Blonder and Aloe, right? Now then. If my cooperation is truly what you seek, You'll need me to be able to use the power of summoning to achieve your goals, correct? You understand my intent. I assume that's acceptable. Y yeah Thank you so much. In that case, we should make our way to the Lone Valley without delay. The spirits of the wind, the sylph, reside in that valley. Merald, could you pass me my hat? I probably won't be back for a while, so... If you're worrying about me, I'll be alright. You know, when you get back, I'll let you try my newest pie recipe. So we need to talk to her to get another cooking recipe, and or her village will burn down. Got it. In that case, I'd better give it my best, huh? Well then, I'll be off. Barth, don't forget to take this with you. Obtain the Collector's Encyclopedia. Oh no, chat. His nas his last name is Lester. Oh no, chat. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, chat. The first name I thought of, and I probably shouldn't name him this, is I'll, I'll make his first name Mole, <laughs> like M O L. That's all my mind went to, chat, <laughs> with this character. But what would the chat like to call him? Or should I just leave him as Clarth? Because honestly, his name is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I'll let the chat think about it a little bit. Take a, take a little bit of water.
Hmm. Okay, so I think I will let chat think about it. <laughs> As I'm assuming Lester slash Lester are not the suggestions, they're just making fun of the fact that his name is Lester, which just leads to so many terrible things. So for now, chat, I want you to think about it, but I'll leave him as Clarth. Merrill says, Oh yes, Blonder, Aloe. We have a large collection of books here related to magic and the spirits. If you'd like, why not use some of our reference materials? Okay, well, we'll take a look around. Chat's saying, why don't you just spell Clarth in all capitals? Sure, we, we could do it for now. We will definitely take other suggestions as we go forth. That is certainly a look for the character. Also, I love that the colors of his outfit don't match the anime portrait. That always gets to me, chat. Like, he's got that thing on his shoulders and his hat is the same color in his anime profile, but that, like, his actual character model doesn't have it. I mean, it's up to you, Kirk. Would you like to call him Clark? For now, I'm gonna leave him as Clarth. You have to feel it in your heart. For now, I'm gonna read some of the books. We'll let Chad think about it a bit more. Four Great Elements and Spirits. The spirits that rule over the elements of earth, w water, fire, and wind are known as the Four Great Spirits. Well, that's definitely a concept that shows up in later games. Social Structure of Spirits 1. After spending significant time observing the world of spirits, it's become clear that a social stratification exists, separating elite and common spirits. However, for the time being, the only observable instance of the hierarchy is between the four great spirits and their leader, Maxwell. Oh. Oh. Wow, they took an idea from Tales of Fantasia and they did Tales of Zillia from it? That's kind of crazy. Like, we've met this character in Briseria chat, technically. Yeah, I was gonna say, I didn't feel in the heart chat was thinking about it. They're saying he's holding the Necronomicon. He is holding the Necronomicon. Why is he holding the Necronomicon? Dark element. This equipment cannot be removed. Clarth must have a weapon equipped. One of the dark books of Cthulhu Mythos, the Book of the Dead, one of the terrible and forbidden books. Clarth, is there something you want to talk about with us? We have nothing to equip him with. Also, that's the level the game thinks us that we should be, by the way, level 7. Social Structure 2. Although unconfirmed, it is thought that Luna, Shadow, and Asuka are part of this hierarchy in the ranks of elite spirits. Additionally, it is thought there exists a class of spirits entirely separate from the first with its own social hierarchy. Oh, I'm sorry, he's level 9. So the game thinks we should have been level 9. Seems to be a letter here. Clarth, unfortunately it seems that techniques used to create pack rings have been lost. Search countless ruins, but in the end... I return with almost no information regarding the Pact Rings. However, that doesn't mean all is lost. There's still the Moria Mine, which is under the Kingdom of Alva Vanessa's control. It's a gamble, but the Dwarven Ruins discovered there may hold unused Pact Rings. What do you say? Shall we look into it? I Cthulhu exists, chat. Cthulhu exists. Seems to be money here. Oh, wait, that's... It seems Clarith hides his secret savings here. Let's leave them where we found them. Let's speak to her. Be careful out there. Take care of Clarth for me, will you? Hey, come on, is that how you talk about your elders? Oh my, I don't believe I mentioned anything about your age. Here, take this as a gift for your send-off. Well, I guess it won't hurt to take it with us. Retained a channeling. If only you would be more honest. Alright, so I'm looking to see- okay, she doesn't give us anything else. Spirits and Pact Rings. In order to form a summoning pack with the spirit, a special kind of ring is required. The creation of these rings was the result of collaboration efforts between uh, Leonor of the Elves and the craftsman Geeth of the Dwarves. There are some old documents here. Ancient ruins have been discovered in the depths of the Moria Mine. The King of Alvanista immediately made the announcement 
An investigation team was being organized to further to explore this discovery. A consortium of archaeologists has concluded that these ruins are in fact an ancient settlement of the dwarves. Spirits in the physical world. Only the most powerful spirits are able to physically manifest themselves in our world. Chat, maybe you would be able to answer this to me. Is there a name for when they call the spirits this specific thing? I have seen this in so many games, but I'm not really familiar with the mythology that this re is referencing. There are so many games, especially in the Mana series, where it's Gnome for Earth, Undyne for Water, Ifrit for Fire, and Silk for Wind. And then I think it mentioned earlier, Luna would be Light Magic, and I believe Atmos is Shadow. And then there's usually Dryad. Is usually one of them. And also their leader, the Spirit of Molecules. Maxwell. In addition, they're the Spirit of the Moon, Luna, the Spirit of Darkness, Shadow, and the Spirit of Light, Asuka. Oh, they split it up a little. Oh, they mean Luna specifically, the Moon. Okay. Yeah, they love doing this. Oh, they're gonna just call it Shadow in this? That's fine. There's not there many other spirits whose existences have yet to be verified. Definitions of spirits and elements. There are a great variety of spirits in the world. The four great elements, earth, water, fire, and wind, are the axis about which the world pivots. Additionally, though many remain unknown, spirits within the power of molecules, the moon, darkness, and light have been confirmed. Yeah, like, I, Maxwell I've only really seen associated with this game, but always seen Luna, Shadow, but I usually see Dryad. Or maybe Dryad is added just due to Secret of Mana lore. But I find it very interesting that it's the same group of names across all of them. This is a spell book, but I don't have any use for it myself. I guess I'll put it back. Yeah, Ifrit and Gnome are extreme regulars. I like how excited he is to find spell books. It's it's a kid's picture book. Uh oh. Chow says, I feel bad nobody else is watching, so I can't just leave. Traveling performer says, I'm the drummer. Drum 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 drum. He's drumming with everything he's got. I'm the violinist. Tra la la. She's playing with everything she's got. Hey, hey, come on, one more time. How much will you pay? Uh, ten gold. Thank you. In the northeast of here, there's a place known as the Lone Valley. It's a rather mysterious place, I must say. Hmm. Mm hmm, hmm. I don't know if donating to them does anything other than give us hints. So we're just going to keep exploring. Young boy says, I want to go play outside, but Dad said I have to help with the store. Shopkeeper welcomes us. Same kind of items. The talisman increases defense by 5%. Uh, that's kind of expensive. Thanks, come again. Sorry to bother you, but we'd happy to be Elwyn. Well, yes, that's me. Why are you asking about my name? Actually, there's a woman desperately wants to meet you. Oh, I'm quite honored. What is she like? First of all, what is her name? Name? Oh, we didn't ask for her name. Wow, we were just dumb, chat. Come on in. So we could get a super vapor or a super battle axe. Um... Kitchen? Whoa! Whoa! For 300 gold, I could get a 4 defense increase? Yes, please. Hmm. I'm gonna get whatever we can for defense for our protagonist. I'll just get one Amber Cloak for now. And Ringmail. I want to get as tanky as possible, chat. And, uh, I guess I could technically get the Battle Axe, if I really want to. I guess we could. 
Thanks, Traveler. So there we go. We just got a big defensive increase for us. So we're sitting at 27. Okay, pretty good. Comparatively, she's sitting at 15. We're going to optimize her. She's now at 20, so she takes a little less damage. And he's got nothing that he could upgrade with, which is fine for now. Suddenly Unica from East makes sense. Exactly, chat. Oh, there's a chest over here. 10 to 1,000 gold. Okay. Hmm. We'll explore each of the homes. Cat says meow. Oh, I'm sorry. Right now I'm preparing dinner for our cats. That can't be easy work. Well, they're like my children, so I don't mind it so much. Oh, we found the crazy cat lady chat. That's a lot of cats. Dog lover says, I like dogs better. Get wrecked, dog lover. Cat lover says, I'm an old man who just loves cats. Come here, kitty. Wait, isn't this one a dog? Oh. Faded. Is there something over here? Hmm. Nope. We're here already. Let's talk to her. Excuse me, but would you mind telling us your name? Oh, I'm sorry. My name is Nancy. My mother is the town grocer. Now we have to go all the way back to the equipment shop, which was here. Accessory shop, cat's eye. My name is Nancy. She's the daughter of the village's grocer. I see. The grocer's daughter, Nancy. Fortunately, I cannot meet her. Why is that? You see, I'm heir to a trade company in Venezia. Right now, I just happen to be visiting this village on business. But it won't be long until I have to return to Venezia. Also, the president, my father, he would never allow it. But can't you at least try meeting her? No. If I meet her even once, it would only make it more difficult when we could not meet again. Please, give the young lady my regards. Now then, back to work. Women shop is called the buy shop. Okay. So we're going to let her know she just got straight up rejected. It was no use, right? Figured it would be like this. I mean, he's the son of a company president. I'm just the daughter of a grocer. No matter how you look at it, we just weren't meant to be. Nancy. Thank you. I I'm okay now. I'm alright. Don't worry about me. Alright, I guess we'll see if something happens in the future with that. But that was kind of disappointing in terms of endings. Oh. Oh. Wait, how do we get up there? Huh? Uh, oh, there we go. We came the charm bottle. Village says, wow, you did a good job finding your way up here. What do you think? Great view, isn't it? Oh, uh, going, going backwards from here is horrible. Ew. I see why it gave us the sweat marks. So we can find ourselves. Poor Nancy, this is how she meets Dr. Jones from Rubber Factory 4. She meets the worst people in Rebound. Exactly, chat. Why do I feel like we didn't meet the grocer? I'm kind of confused. I'm going to leave town and then come back in. Oh, that's right. It'll keep us here. Right? We didn't go to the grocer at any point. Oh, this is the grocer. Oh, there's a chef here. I dwell in the wonderful world of flavor. I want to share this flavor with as many people as I can. Would you like a taste of my world? Then let's get cooking. You learn how to make a sandwich. <laughs> I love how excited he is and this is like the most basic ability. It's like one thing if he's trying to teach us how to make certain soups, but it's like our character's a little special. We're like sandwiches and burgers are beyond us without a recipe. Villager says, now then, tonight's side dish will be... Nancy's mother, Maggie. Welcome, we got lots of good stuff. Uh, I don't really want any of this, to be honest. Thanks a lot. I love to travel. 
The way here, I happen across this place known as the this Lonely Valley. Is it's very special. Apparently, there's always an intense wind blowing through there. Yeah, there's this guy named Bart living nearby who's supposed to be a master at predicting the weather. He's pretty famous around the city of Hamel for the accuracy of his predictions. I heard a rumor that in some distant country, they're forming an army with an unreal number of people. Hmm. Hmm. I'm kind of worried because we got a character where nothing seems to be working. I mean, we technically have a third party member. I'm just thinking if it's worth going back to some of the other locations. It, it is a downgrade from Burger. I agree, chat. He's very excited to share it, though. So it does want us to cross the bridge to the east, and I did say I didn't want to do that yet, so I might as well stick to what I said before. It doesn't seem like our current party member can really do anything, though, which is kind of annoying. The NPC is guarding the door. I think I missed what you were talking about. One NPC is guarding a door. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything else I really missed in here, so I guess we'll just leave. Oh, Nancy's gone. Does that mean the other guy's gone as well? Indeed. Oh, is this going to be, like, a reoccurring side quest? Like, will we find her later? Hmm. For now, let's go this way. And let's see what abilities this guy has. I don't think he has anything according to what he mentioned last time. Unfortunately, we can't even escape combat because this is here. So we'll have to get a better weapon at the next area. I thought this I thought this village would have something better, but it could be the next area we have to go to. Helps us out. Wow, that took forever to kill with this team, but we're getting better. I mean, it's good that he's just there in general, I guess. Like, this is helping significantly. Flushes people with the Necronomicon. Exactly, chat. I mean, at least he's attacking fairly frequently. And he does decent damage, actually. Not amazing, but decent. Much better than Allo. Retain the spectacles. Allo has leveled. We'll make sure to use her TP just to kind of heal us. I mean, I guess this is good enough. Allo received a title, Priestess. I guess she hit a certain level. Missed the opportunity to throw the book at him. It would have been pretty good. So I guess we could check the alternate paths? We'll go north on this village, or not this village, we'll go north on this mountain pass on the way back, because presumably we have to come from up here. But let's explore the other areas a bit. Like, what happens if I... What happens if I go to the forest, I go to say, as I get attacked? I wish he would stop thrust attacking. Can he do the upward strike, or can he not do that with Battle Axe? Which is kind of annoying. I wish I knew Battle Axe did not do an upward slash, unless I do this. I guess that's faster. Because I don't want to do thrust with him. Because Battle Axes don't have any thrust power, which makes sense, because that's how axes work. You, you don't thrust the axe at them. Alright, uh, that's a little faster. So she heals enough to give us at least a first aid every combat, so we should be okay, I guess. Let's go back to the south and explore the forest. I think we have to exit through the southern part of town. Let's go ahead and do so. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Here we are. Happy, peaceful music. Nice. Treasure chest in the same place. We got an hourglass. That's pretty much automatically worth it for us. Because we're going to be using that to cheese certain things later, I would imagine. It's the killer owl chat. Owl is not a good matchup for Battle Axe, I'm noticing. There we go. It has a decent amount of reach, though, which is kind of nice. So that's the new technique. Let's see what the other one is. Oh, yeah, if we had a thrust weapon, that one looks godlike. Oh, yeah, we need a thrust weapon. Let's never bother with Slash again, chat. <laughs> there we go. Oh well, we're earning money to go get a better weapon, I suppose. But for now, the Battle Axe will carry us. Hello. Gain Sage, which is another stat increasing item, which we don't want to do anything with yet. And instead of killer bees, it's hornets. I want them in melee range just because this would speed it up significantly. Is there no way to get the axe to do a second slash? It always has to thrust. Because that kind of sucks. Because I thought we would get like the overhead swing like we get with the swords. Because you could choose to thrust or do a normal slash with the sword. But this one, it seems like neutral is also a thrust. Which would it would have made the battle axe a bit less enticing in general. But oh well. We took a significant amount of damage, but not much we could really do about that other than use aloe. So let's go ahead and use her as our heal bank, because that's her only purpose in the party, because she does no damage. Again, chat, if we just had a bow user, this game would be over. How dare they take away that bow user from us? Oh, item. Attain Rebirth Doll. I'm assuming that's just like the one-time use item where it will take... Yeah, there it is. Substitute Doll that will die in your place during battle, reviving you. Okay. I think that was just called Revival Doll in Tales of Destiny 1. Yeah, it seems like the first initial strike of an upward slash is a thrust. So we'll have to keep that in mind going forward. Because we do have to fight a lot of enemies where we have to uppercut, which is unfortunate. They had to find some way to add longevity to the game. Removing Archer was just their only option. I mean, you're not wrong. Because even on hard mode, Archer is just OP. Like, honestly, until we get to a point where we fight spellcasters... I don't see how any enemy would beat Archer. Archer too strong. But anyway, we're just gonna attack Loop here with Battle Axe. This is fine. And we'll get small amounts of money. Also, we got an Apple Gummy, which I should probably use on ourselves. Because I believe that might put us at 15. And I would like to not just cap out on healing items. Yeah, we did cap. See, is there anything in here we should be aware of? This forest is the same as the one I always went hunting in. Yeah, but the tree's alive this time. Can we do anything with the tree? No? Hmm. That's it? There's nothing else here? Oh, I thought we would at least get like a special cutscene for coming here. Or do we have to come back here once we get a pack ring or whatever? Disappointing. We'll try coming back here later. Yeah, I thought at least we would get a cutscene with the tree, but apparently not. There we go, get in the attack loop.
I guess there's nothing else to really do here. I was just thinking about it. Um, We'll go to... We'll try to loop around to the south. I doubt that the building and the crypt will be there, but there could be something of interest. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I don't think these enemies are worth fighting. Let's just leave. Yeah, I have a feeling if we go to, like, the cave, we can't do anything. If if this area was disappointing, I'm just going to assume the other area we can't really do anything at. I mean, we could still check it out, but... Given, given the track record of optional areas so far, it doesn't seem like it's worth it. To the northwest we go, chat. What are we doing gold-wise? A little, a little under 4k. We might sell some items in case we come across a better weapon in the next city. But for now, we'll use Battle Axe, just because it, it does speed things up if we do get into encounters. Let's see, can we loop around from here? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> just we get into a fight. Yeah, let's, let's say no to this chat. Goodbye. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be too much else to explore here. It would make sense if the house we saw before wasn't here. We're just going to keep leaving combat, because it doesn't seem to be worth our time at the moment. Plus, it'll be faster if we get Clarth an actual ability. So the home would have been around here-ish. Hmm. There's nothing here. Okay. I thought the game mentioned that there was a cave somewhere. I guess they're not referring to this one. I think they said it was... I guess they did say it was east of the starting town. Yeah, you used that book to push away the jackal. Hmm. So nothing to the south, at least now we know. Are there any new things here? I'm just kind of rotating the camera to see if, like, there could be changes elsewhere. I'm not really seeing anything. Hmm. Oh, a back attack? That sucks. I wish she would start healing him. I'm gonna force her to heal him. I like how he's just standing there taking in the face and not even bothering to fight back. Can you please hit him? Thank you. I'm literally doing all the work. Come on. Like, come be a break game. Oh, she's the, oh she made late for two damage. She did it, chat. Why is he in the front? Hello? Yeah, that did no damage. I'm assuming we need more thrust. You know, despite not having thrust as our main attack source, that does a lot of damage. So I got an okay amount of gold from it, but just still not worth our time in general. Uh, we'll use her abilities to heal up again. It's most more likely than not we're gonna go to an inn very soon. So hmm. I don't see anything we can really do here. So I'm not sure if there's something else we should have done. I guess we could check to- oh, there's a cave. Maybe that's the cave they were referring to. Oh, and there's a bridge. Oh, there's like a whole bunch of stuff over here. Okay, let's check it out. 
I I'm glad we went over here. Goodbye, Hornets. Don't poison us. Yeah, didn't poison us. That's all we want, chat. Do not want to deal with status ailments in this game. No, thank you. We're across the bridge. Let's check this place out first. A little ominous. Very long path that leads to spectacles. Okay. We haven't used them to identify any enemy stats because so far I don't really care and we don't need to. Got a life bottle. Okay, that was worth it. We attained beef. Maximum beef. And we attained fight symbol. Hmm. Is that like the warrior symbol from Tales of Destiny? Is that going to give us percent attack? Let's find out, chat. So we trade one defense for six attack. Symbol of a warrior that boosts attack by 10% when equipped. Heck yeah, chat. Let's get more damage on this character. I'll take that one defense loss. Whatever. Anything to speed up combat, chat. There's another chest. An elixir. Hmm. Well, this is so far completely worth coming to. So for now, we'll just check out the cave real quick. I mean, now we have better stats. So combat should go a little faster. It's basically like getting two or three level ups there. The Cave of Spirits. Hmm. Oh, there's visible enemies? Oh no, it's just... It's just a bat floating around that we can't actually attack. But this bat we can get struck by. Okay, the attack looping is real, chat. Can we talk about this? Thank you, Battle Axe. Your long reach makes this fight very easy. Look at this, chat. This is a very convincing fight. The loop is real, chat. This is a this is a big old loop. Those four enemies. They have a lot of health, though. Jeez, how much health do they have? I mean, I have a decent weapon. Did 107 when we don't block it. Nasty. Now that they're in the corner, the loop is acting a bit weird, but that's okay. I know, get in the loop, chat. I think from now on we're gonna run from combat, but I've already committed, so I'm definitely gonna finish it up at this point. Oh my gosh. How much health do these- th Okay, now I'm gonna use spectacles. How much health do these things have? 1,440? Oh, chat, we are- Oh, we are not exploring this area at this rate. No way. <laughs> oh, man, we, we're gonna be here a while. I apologize, chat. Jeez. Uh, hello, area we're not supposed to be in. I mean, I guess I can still attack loop them forever, I suppose. Now, out of curiosity, how much experience are we gonna get from this? Yeah, we do about... Oh, we killed our first one. That's good. They should die pretty quickly. The one in the back will take a bit longer. Oh, not that much longer. Huh. Okay. That's it? That was just for 42 experience? Oh, Tales of Fantasia. We need to talk. That's not okay. We could fight the Jackals for more experience. They have less health. That is not okay. Oh, there's a sealed door of some sort. Hi, Giant Toad. Bye, Giant Toad. We're not fighting you. Mm-mm. You, you, you hit them with the book. We're not doing that encounter. <laughs> right, chat? No, thank you. The door has an eye. If you wish to break this spe seal, speak the password. Tree o the p a. Could we brute force this? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, chat. I had a very juvenile thought when it when it literally spells to big ass <laughs> right across one to four. Is that is that intentional? <laughs> the big uh woo the big word? Incorrect. To big ass chat. Yeah, that that should, <laughs> I don't think they should have put those letters in that order. Oh, ill. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. This could actually kill us. 
Is there a way I could jump past them with this character? I think there is. I think I could do this. And then... Oh, how do I get by him with attacks? Darn you, semi-auto. We might actually be dead here. There's not really anything I could do about this, to be honest. Yeah, I, I can't run to the corner because the game doesn't let me auto. Yeah, see that? Like, I can't demon kick over him either. Well, I'm dead. Why are my normal strikes missing? Hello? Yeah, we're dead. Or I could just, like, levitate in the air forever, I guess. Is it even... I should just die. It's not even worth doing this. It's not even worth fighting this. So that sucks. If we just get side attacked, it's game over. Because I don't know how to run by enemies without manual mode. If we had manual mode, it wouldn't matter, to be honest. So that was just more annoying than anything else. Because otherwise, just think about it, chat. I would rather die and take the reset than fight them for like 10 plus minutes and lose life bottles. Like, I'll take the death. That's much faster. Because we don't even know how much health those other characters had. The only thing I need to confirm is where we saved. That's all. Where did we last save? Oh, we were still up here? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I thought I saved after the forest. My bad, chat. I, for some reason, thought we saved after we left the forest, and I was not correct. I want to go back for that warrior symbol, as that is actually important to get. I could just leave the items in the forest alone for now. I guess. I don't have to... I don't have to go back to the forest, but I'd like to go to the docks at minimum. Because we didn't really gain any items from there. We didn't really get any money, I guess. Ultimately, doesn't super matter. But at minimum, I want this. Or I guess if we avoid every encounter, it's not too bad. Yeah, I guess I could go back and get those items, actually. Just so I don't forget about them. So yeah, that, that just kind of sucked. We just got back attacked and it was just kind of game over without losing like all of our items. And honestly, we barely got any gold. Like we got 400 gold for doing it, whatever. I don't think that's gonna make a difference. So yeah, the game is getting definitely a lot harder on hard mode and I feel like our weapons are not scaling well at all for this area. So hopefully we get a I got attacked leaving a menu. That's a new one. Did I, like, perfect pause it so that we, we got into that scenario? Certainly something, chat. So yeah, let's go back to the forest. And uh, I'm going to make sure to save this time once I equip the character properly. Because this will speed things up. So ultimately, I still feel like we would have been in the other combat encounter, to be honest with you, because it felt like that was going to take forever. And the 400 gold we gained, I would have to avoid all combat, come back to the inn, spend money on the inn, and then leave anyway. So not too much loss. I guess I could use the spectacles on these enemies just to get an idea of their health totals. Well, they only have 400 health. Oh, they're kind of worth fighting, I guess. That's not too bad. Yeah, much better than the 1,400 nonsense, which was absolutely not worth our time. Whereas in this one, we just need to go combo loop them twice, potentially. Yeah, I'd like our allies to just get in some extra hits, just to round things out a bit better. Not bad at all. Much faster. Let's compare the experience. Almost the same amount of experience as the cave. Tak, can we talk about that? What is the what is the scaling in this game? Why did the cave only give us like 60 experience? And this one gave us 40. She reattained the priestess title. Sure. Yeah, like, shouldn't that cave have given us like at least 100 plus? What do you think, Chad? I mean, they have like double to triple the health of those other enemies. And we barely got more than like 20% more experience. Like, that was pretty sad.
Anyway, let's just go quickly get that. I guess the hourglass could be worth it. I got attacked before I could face the chest. Sure, we'll even use spectacles on these enemies. Why not, chat? We, we have spectacles. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Because we got a crit, I think. I wonder if it's worth getting rid of two defense for luck, just so we could get that crit damage. Oh well. Oof, those attacks whiffing are painful. There we go. Yeah, like, these enemies are not worth fighting at all. Like, I don't even get it. Like, they have as much health as the bugbears, and they give a third of the experience. I, I don't understand, chat. The, the XP balancing in this game does not make any sense to me. I don't know if it's due to just our level or what the deal is, but even then, the cave monster sh still should have given more. Yeah, it sounds like a big waste of time. Let's not fight anything here. What a waste of our collective time. Goodbye. So if I just want to level, I should just fight the bugbear things. And that's it. They're the only things that give decent experience. Well, we'll reattain the rebirth doll. We'll get the little bit of conversation here, and then we leave. I guess, since we can't interact with the tree. So let's leave, Chad. Yeah, goodbye. I might as well spectacle the, the python since I'm here. How much health does he have, out of curiosity? 390. Everything's weakness seems to be fire. Oh, is Clark's first spell going to be fireball? Because that, that would make me smile, Chad. If that's our first spell, I'll be very happy. It is a beginner spell. It, it, like, can you imagine if he could do... Oh, boar and boar child? What? Oh, you can just refight them here? Uh, okay. So... Okay, I mean, we might as well just kill the boss that's just here. We're monsters, chat. One of the boar children ran away. We attained poor- Look at that experience! Wait, okay, are you- <laughs> Come on! Game, come on, what was with that experience? That was worth more than all the other fights, and that was way easier. Come on, it was like five experience off from the Bat Cave. Like, come on. Nonsense. What nonsense, chat? I, I don't get how they balance experience and gold in this game, other than they didn't. We're not even close to leveling, so we'll, we'll just continue forward for now. Nope. <laughs> Alright, chat. Let... I'm going to respect your time and just leave every combat until we get to a better area. And hopefully the our third party member will be more useful. I mean, he does more damage than she does with his starting equipment, which is nice, but we really need them to learn spells. Yeah, chat, we're not we're not messing around with them. I just don't care. <laughs> like they're not worth the time. Well, we really Oh my gosh, the encounter rate. Please stop. It's t Oh, these things are worth fighting. These things are actually worth fighting. Come on, allies. Go in the front. There we go. She should heal him, which is good. There we go, that wasn't too bad. I mean, for 40-something experience, that's really good. And we got more spectacles. Nice. Easy. I'll take that. Like, that's pretty fast compared to the other fights. Oh my gosh. Tales of Fantasia, please stop with this encounter raid. This is just, this is atrocious. We might have to buy some holy bottles, chat. 
I felt like the encounter rate was okay, but I, if every dungeon is going to be like this, no way. Retain bread. Retain cheese, but we can't carry anymore. Retain beef. Alright, let's try cooking. Is there something that can use cheese? Bread and cheese, chicken, beef, pork. Sure. Goodbye, pork. Let's have the cheeseburger chat. Uh, again, this this is worth our time compared to the other ones. Like, I'll take this. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh my gosh, can you imagine if I did thrust? How good that would be? Look at this. This move is ludicrous. The fact that it uppercuts them at the end too is just so OP, chat. We'll get a little bit of extra gold. We'll see how things go. But now we've explored the northern path, so at this point we should probably follow what the game wanted us to do in the first place, which is go across this bridge. So hopefully we can find a town, and there's a town right there, that will give us a better weapon for the protagonist, and I don't really care about any of the other characters. Like, you see that jackal? We'll identify it just for the sake of identifying it. Yeah, not really worth our time. Ooh, that did 96. Brutal. Let's see, chat. We can cross over here. There seems to be a small house here. What's here? This is... The home of the Spirits of Wind, Lone Valley. It's been said that spirits reside in all things in this world. Well, much of this is theoretical, but at least in the case of the Four Great Spirits, we know what they truly exist. The Four Great Spirits... Oh, Blonder, we just read all the reference manuals, you should know this. That's right. The spirits that rule over Earth, water, fire, and wind are known as the Four Great Spirits. The Spirits of Wind, the Sylph, are among them. So our goal here is to attain the power of Sylph, correct? Well, everything ends up being that simple, I won't complain. Actually, in order to form the Pact, we need something known as a Rune Ring. It's absolutely essential to the Pact. Personally, I'm in the habit of calling it a Pact Ring. We must first attain that. Essential? But, Clarth, weren't you the one who created summoning? Actually, it was something that I first discovered in an ancient document. That was the beginning of my research, which I have now carried out to its perfection. And you did all this by your cl by yourself? Clarth, you're amazing! Well, I was still among those hard-headed fools in the scientific community. I was told countless times that it was impossible. In any case, our first stop is that house over there. There's a man living there I'd like to meet. Well, anyway, we're gonna choose not to do that because that's plot-related. <laughs> right, chat? Isn't that how that goes? Like, that that's nice, Clarth. Bye. <laughs> Let, let's go to the next town instead. City of Hamel. Uh, item shop, Angel's Blessing. Hostess welcomes us. If you're gonna do any hiking, I suggest taking a rope and a pickaxe? Huh. Oh, we're already, at, we're already at three holy bottles. Two more, please. Crude pickaxe, that might be useful if you ever hit a dead end. Sure. Rope. Don't leave home without this multi-purpose rope. Going up, going down, sure, we'll buy it. We'll follow the game's advice for now. I don't know if we need multiples of them, but we should take at least one with us. Girl says, God must be really great, right? I mean, everyone goes to the church every day just to try to talk to him. Foolish person. Oh, there's a chef here. I dwell in the wonderful world of flavor. I want to share this flavor with as many people as I can. Would you like a taste of my world? Then let's get cooking. You learn how to make French toast. <laughs> just, for how excited he is, the, the, the most bland recipes we get is just truly amazing, Chad. It gets me every time. Oh, hello. Wait, Nancy? Oh, Blonder. I want to thank you for before. What are you doing in a place like this? I'm a traveling soldier. This girl was set on meeting that guy no matter what. 
I was planning on making my way to Venezia anyway, but this girl begged me to take her along. Yeah, I understand. I just want to hear it from him myself. Well, that's how it is. Elwyn. Uh, well, she's gone full Stockholm Road. Got it. Let's rest at the inn. Plus is 36. Kind of unfortunate. He's telling us he's just going to wake us up at 10 a.m. Hmm. Let's see. Talk to the people in the church first, I suppose. Local says, Once upon a time, in the days of the long-forgotten past, there were advanced civilizations the likes of which you can hardly imagine. That's what I heard from my grandpa, at least. I still don't know if his stories were true or not. God, please protect my papa and mama. Not long ago, there was a man by the name of Scarlet who lived in this city. Mr. Scarlet was a sorcerer, but it seems he was involved in some sort of research on a new application of sorcery. That has all come to an end with his death. God rest his soul. Amen. Master Scarlet was taken in by a pupil by the name of Demeter. When Master Scarlet died, Demeter went on weeping endlessly. Hmm, how did he die? Heard it was an accident of some kind. Hmm, suspicious circumstance, got it. Mr. Scarlet suddenly moved to the city several years ago. If I remember correctly, he lived in Midgard prior to moving here. Oh no, Midgard. Oh no, Chad, are we gonna find Yggdrasil? Like, what's happening? <laughs> They're already talking about elves. The lever says, If we offer all of our fears up to God, we have nothing to fear. But in that way, God is a little scary, too. Local says, I've got a really bad premonition. Almost like there's something lurking in the darkness, just waiting for the opportunity to devour this entire world. Oh, she found Blonder, apparently. Local says, I feel. I feel some kind of powerful hatred in the air. Oh, that's me. I'm, I'm just frustrated we don't have a bowman yet. Sister says, are you travelers? Yes, that's right. Well then, I shall pray for you. May God grant you his protection on your journey. Well, your blessing is useless because our stats are not increased. Thanks, Priestess. The priest is reading from a holy book. Lord, please forgive us all of our sins. Nope, we're going to continue to sin, chat. Take that, priest. Local says, if you're wondering why nobody's around, we're all in the church praying to God. We have two more shops to take a look at. Armor Shop of Endurance. Welcome. Uh, I think we got everything we basically could. We could get a new helmet, which is kind of worth it. But before we make that purchase, let's go see what weapons we could purchase. Because if there's something that's 4K, I'd rather just sell items so we can afford it. Weapon Shop Crystal Rod. Welcome. So we have the Verdon from before. We have another rapier, which is 35. A fine saber, which is kind of disappointing. The Walloon sword, wh whoa, 50 to everything? Whoa, I should have held out on money for sure, chat, jeez. Or I could get a Crescent Axe that has light attribute, hmm. It's kind of a tough call. I'm gonna go with the sword for now, because I'd like its moveset a little better. I'm still not gonna purchase items for the other characters. So, there could be enemies that are weak to it, like the undead, or we could just get something that's generically extremely powerful. I think I'll go for generically extremely powerful. So that was a big damage increase for us, chat. I think we could easily farm the overworld now without too much of an issue. Um... I guess I'll get them one of the helmets? Let's give Flarth a little more defense. That should be fine, chat. So, so far, no items found in general, but man, that weapon is such a big increase for us. So I exited through the north, so technically we could keep exploring. So we'll acknowledge the game wants us to go to the other town, 
Now, I imagine if we don't have the ring, the plot is basically going to say we're going to find the old man. He's going to tell us to go to the mines, and then in the mines, we're going to find the ability to make our first or find our first packed ring. But for now, let's just explore. Now, that does some damage. Whoa. Look at that, chat. That's like a reasonable kill speed. Much better, chat. I'm liking this already. Okay, so we can chain our normal techniques into the, the Okies. And that's a lot of experience and a decent amount of gold. Hmm. So, yeah, we actually can do some serious damage with the protagonist. It's kind of nice. We're going to go ahead and use that orange shell, or gummy, excuse me, in this game. And we're just going to have her heal constantly because she has no other purpose for TP. I could use her charge to give me more TP. Even though it technically burns her out faster, she's just literally not using any of her TP. Uh, I'll step in here in case there's a hidden area, but it doesn't seem like there is. So for now, we'll keep exploring. There might be something to the northeast of us and then further north. Wow, that damage is crazy. Like, do you see the speed difference in which we're killing these already, chat? Like, I feel a lot better. And now we don't have to worry about what kind of attack we're doing. Yeah, that uppercut doing 94 instead of 12 is a really big difference for us. Much better, chat. Alright, more chicken, decent amount of experience, sure. Let's continue to go north, though. What is here? There's another town? Oh man, I should have held off. What's in this town? Oh, we found Venezia already. Pretty big place for a port city, don't you think? People come here from all over the world, which brings in all sorts of characters. This is the kind of city where anything can happen. Including a really drawn outside quest with love. Dog wolves. Nancy says, oh, everyone. So, what happened? Did things go well with Elwyn after you met him? That's... It looks like there's still something else. Can we help you in any way? Hey, come on, is this really the time we should get involved in? Will you help her out? Sure, we have nothing better to do. I... I went as far as the front of his company, but... My legs wouldn't stop trembling. I couldn't go inside. So, we need to set up a time for you to meet Elwyn. Please, leave it to us. Alright, uh, so let's go find Elwyn, chat. Maid says she needs to finish cleaning. She goes, me? I live here. This is a live-in job. Cat says, meow. Hmm. Is this the front of his company? The rabbit thing? Trade company. Female employee says, Man, I really hate it when I have to make tea for everyone. Receptionist says, Do you have an appointment? No, but we're gonna barge in anyway. Employee says, this is terrible. Midgar's on the brink of war. All of our shipments from there have come to a complete halt. Chief of Sales says, hey, what happened to that production report in Alvinista? Oh, hey, it's you guys. Do you have some business here? Nancy came all the way to the city. Huh? Nancy did? She came here because she wants to meet with you no matter what. Please, won't you meet her just once? All right. Then please tell her to meet me in front of the fountain in Central Plaza. Okay, we'll let her know. Employee, it seems that Midgard is in the midst of researching something amazing, though I don't really know anything more about it. Employee says, looks like Midgard is planning on waging war on the army of demons led by Daos. There is a suspicious lack of things for me to steal, chat. Female employee says, I'm glad that the flames of wars haven't reached this far, but still... I wonder where Dallas came in from the first place. Oh, let's read this. Oh, we can't read this. That's a shame. Boy says, this is the break room. Just over there is the president's office. Cool, let's go meet the president. As long as the young president is here, we'll be fine. The young president? You know, Elwyn. He's on the first floor. He's still in the sales department right now, though. Oh. 
we can we rob him? Oh, we can't rob him, chat. Zero out of ten. Hello, ordinary person named Doug. Who are you supposed to be? You can't just stroll in here. Well, my movement says otherwise, Doug. Oh, there's a chest here. Retain protect ring. Hey, we'll take that free equipment up early. So we're definitely not supposed to be here yet. Uh, has a 10% chance of nullifying non-elemental attacks. Interesting. Hmm. It might be more useful on this other character, because it basically just gives them the chance to block damage, and he's got the lowest amount of health. So one defense loss for him for a 10% chance to negate all damage is kind of a good trade for him. Whereas for me, I think I'd rather have the two defense. Half Elf says, Adored by all the people of the city, brilliance, wonder, and beauty, I am truly the greatest master sorceress. Little conceited. I guess we'll go back to the inn. Then we'll finish exploring this place that we're totally supposed to be in right now. You have an appointment to keep. He said to wait for him in front of the fountain in Central Plaza. Thank you so much. I don't know how I could thank you. Don't keep Elwyn waiting. Now hurry along. Yes. Chat, can you imagine if this story ends with, like, <laughs> I would never date a filthy commoner, and he just, like, slaps her? Could you imagine, chat? I mean, it won't do that, but could you imagine? <laughs> I, I would respect the game so much more if it went all the way like that. Like, all that time, it was for nothing. Mayor's wife says, we're hosting a party right now. Can I get you anything? Oh, she didn't teach us a recipe. Child says, we're having a birthday party right now. It's for the mayor's brother's child's friend's older sister or something. I don't really get it. Child says, the mayor's house is huge. Mayor's brother's child's friend's older sister says, I'm the older sister. They're sharing the latest gossip. The mayor's house is huge. Oh, they don't want to speak to us. Can we, can we rob them while they're in the midst of the birthday party? Young girl says, Man, I want to go on a vacation around the world. Because of the war in Midgard, it's impossible, right? The captain of the ship that goes to Alvanista is such a pushover, he won't even sail. What can you do? Hey, are there anything we can rob on the balcony? Hmm. So it looks like we can't do anything on either of those locations. Let's talk to old man. I'm the mayor of Venezia. This city is duty-free to encourage an environment of free trade. We have goods here that come from all over the world. You can find anything you want right here in this city. By the way, where are you all visiting from? We came from south of Euclid. Do you mean by chance from Belladum? You didn't happen to meet a man named Elder there, did you? Yes, we did. He's the village elder. What? I see. So he's actually leading the village. Elder is my twin brother. He's the younger one. So in ten years I've been in the city, the region south of Euclid has been completely developed. If you find yourself back there, send him my regards, won't you? Uh, is that another side quest to go back to him? I, I guess we should try to go back to him just to see at some point. So nothing to do here. I'm presuming if we go out the bottom exit, there's nothing we could do here. Yeah. Elder the elder, the younger. Exactly. Although he's mayor, that's the difference. He's mayor, the other guy's elder. That's how you, that's how you tell him apart, chat. Oops, I went back to the inn by accident. How's our TP doing? I guess I could pay for an inn. So our inn costs went from, I think, 15 to 28 to 36, and so now it's at 48 get more expensive chat oh the cat the cat is preventing us from leaving please leave cat thank you um there's buildings that only face the waterfront so maybe it's like tales of destiny where we need to get a boat and the mayor's house is like how you could reach it are you sure he'll really come he'll be here look here he comes now He 
Exactly, chat. So many elders. You must be Nancy, right? Yes. Now let's get out of their way. Good idea. And by good idea, I'm just going to interrupt them. Um, that is... Thank you. If I'd known she was such a wonderful girl, I'd have loved to meet her sooner. Well, you declined meeting her. Old woman says, This weather is perfect. Old man says, In the past, there used to be a large number of elves who lived in the city. Also, he looks like the priest model from Tales of Destiny 1. The ferryman taking you from here to there at twice the speed if you hold cancel. It's a little fourth wall breaking, but good to know. Child says, I wish I could use sorcery too, but I'm not an elf, so I guess that's impossible. Man, this is a big place. Local says, I hear that somewhere in this world, elves have a village of their own. Where? I don't know. Half-elf says, now then, what should I do for tonight's side dish? Doing grocery shopping while the master is out. If she comes home early and the food isn't ready, she'll never shut up. Yeah, the master sorceress. Actually, she's my older sister. Dad was an elf, you see. I don't even remember when, but Dad left us behind years ago. Leaving his children behind. I know it sounds terrible, but I'm sure there must have been a reason for it. Someday he'll come back to us. Isn't Dad back yet? My dad is a fisherman, so sometimes he doesn't come back until late. Roaster says welcome. Let's take a look at their store. Okay, we looked at their store. Oh, look, another chef. I dwell in the wonderful world of flavor. I want to share this flavor with as many people as I can. Would you like a taste of my world? Then let's get cooking. Learn how to make sushi. Okay, that's a, a little different, I guess. Old woman says, They say in the past, the spirits used to appear from time to time. But now, even the elves are nowhere to be seen. Those can't be good signs. Local says, It seems an order... That in order to enter the Moria Mine, you need some kind of permit. That's what I heard from someone in Alvanisa when I was traveling abroad, at least. Now, let's see, for tonight's side dish. Okay, so we need a permit to go to the mines to get the pack ring to make the pack with Sylph in order for the third party member to be useful. Got it. Uh, does this actually lead anywhere, or is this just another exit? Oh, it does lead somewhere. Interesting. Sailor says, Lately, we've all had nothing to do. Man says, oh man, the sea. Can you feel it? You know what I'm saying, the romance of it? Well, I'm certainly feeling the lack of items in this town. Jeez, town, step it up. I haven't even robbed anybody blind yet. Zero out of ten. Let's see. Blonder says, when will the ship be leaving? I'd like to know that myself. But we're not about to sail for Alvanista when Douse could attack at any time. There's nobody who'd be willing to sail into that kind of danger. Man, what are we going to do? Well, let's board his boat and see if we can rob him. Hello, bartender. Complete with cat. Welcome. So they kind of just prettied up the sprites from Tales of Destiny 1. Oh, this is different. This is more boat-like. Tales of Destiny 1 boats were ludicrous. Uh, let's check the door here. There's just alcohol everywhere. That doesn't really seem safe to leave a bottle on a table like that on a ship. I'm just saying. All right, let's exit through here. Yeah, I guess he is technically the Wonder Chef from the other games. There's lots of different Wonder Chefs, but I guess they didn't have a name for him yet. And sadly, the Wonder Chef kind of drops off by the time you get to Zestaria. Yeah, the boat actually looks like a proper boat. It even has like mice running around in it, which is probably very accurate. Is, which is, <laughs> he just has a plague boat. It's fine. Alright, so they're just saying it's been dangerous that so we haven't got many passengers. The ship is an oceanic vessel bound for Alvanista. It's from when we're actually leaving? I don't know. Go ask the captain. I like the birds flying overhead. I think that's a really good touch. So, there's just nothing we could rob from this town. What a disappointment, chat. There better be some interesting things with this boatman. Or the ferryman, excuse me. Welcome, it'll be 30 gold. Where are you headed? Uh... South Bank? So, if I hold cancel, he leans forward and we go faster. I forget if they're in graces or not, to be honest. Thank you, sir. 
Is it 30 gold every time, or does he let us go? It's 30 gold every time, and I can't cancel this dialogue? Ugh. Oh, no, I can. Shopkeeper has nothing of interest for sale. Heavy boots. Slow your movement speed in battle by 20%. Why would I want this? Why would I ever purchase that item? White Mist. Decreased time needed to escape battle by 30%. That is such a shame that that is so expensive, as I would have definitely preferred to have that item. Local says, most of the people of the Kingdom of Eucalypt work worship the Yggdrasil as a god? Chad, I was just joking! Stop it! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Chad, of course. Of course Yggdrasil's here. Foolish me. Foolish me, chat, of course. The great earth spirit of the Yggdrasil protects the entire world after all, of course. We got treed. Get wrecked. Uh, we'll go to the weapon shop. <laughs> every game has Yggdrasil, chat, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just every time. Okay, so let's go inside the shop. There's the swordsman from before, I think. Battle is about remaining calm. When facing monsters or any danger in battle, keeping your wits about you is essential. Oh, there's like another store over there. Intellectual says, have you heard of the elves? Let's say no. Elves are beautiful beings. On top of that, their lifespan is quite long. They live over a thousand years. I wouldn't be surprised even if you forgot your own age. Also, they can use magic, and not just any magic. But unbelievably powerful sorcery from what I hear. However, the elves dislike any kind of conflict, so their power is never used recklessly. Not surprising that human beings are jealous of the elves. However, they tend to be rather unwilling to open up to those not of their own people. In that respect, they s truly do seem to be unchanging across time. Okay, let's, what if we say yes to him this time? Then have you heard of half-elves? Let's say no. Just as the name implies, half-elves are born of a human parent and an elven one. In terms of appearance, they're midway between elves and humans. In terms of their abilities, it's pretty much the same story. In other words, they still live longer than humans and are able to use sorcery. However, in terms of their social behavior, the half-elves face a huge problem. That is to say, stuck halfway between human and elf, they also face discrimination from both sides. Uh, what if we say no to both? Oh, oops. I meant yes to both. Oh, I wish I could speed up this dialogue. Get wrecked. Man, there is just no escaping that. Okay, let's make sure to say yes. Then say yes. And he just says, oh, I see. Soldier says, I am a soldier. I'm stationed here after coming from Alvanisa. My purpose here in Venezia is basic crime prevention. Actually, my hometown is Belladim. The weapon shop there has books that contain information on all kinds of things. In that shop, there should even be a book that details all kinds of sword techniques. Oh, is that a hint we could have learned a technique from the other location? I'm sorry, what? I could have had this the whole time? Oh, come on, really? Oh, what a tease. There's a soup. There's just a ludicrous spirit here. Oh, man, what a waste of money. I'm so mad. You know what? Take our elixir. I don't care. I'm not going to use it. We're getting that. We're getting that damn spear chat. <laughs> like, like that's such a that's such an attack increase. Yes, please. Ludicrous. Oh my gosh, what a waste! I shouldn't have bought the other weapon. Yeah, look at that chat. A polearm classified as a trident or a winged spear. Yeah, our thrust attack damage is gonna be so stupid. Worth selling the elixir chat. Let's go to the armor shop. Let's see if we could get something interesting for the protagonist, and then we'll just leave. Also, the fact that he charges you 30 gold every time you leave a shop is kind of rude, I'm not gonna lie. Especially this early in the game. The armor shop of see-through. Mmm. See the pun there. Swordsman says, Alvanisa and Midgard had good diplomatic relations for ages. Lately, something has been a bit off. Midgard is making preparations for war, but Alvanisa hasn't raised a finger to help. It's pretty strange if you ask me. Female soldier says, oh, are you a swordsman? Would you be interested in buying this text? Huh? An Oki text? I bought it on the black market, but it turns out I can't even use it. How about it? I think it's 3,000 gold. Uh, 
We learned Claw Storm. Hmm. Thank you kindly. Shopkeeper welcomes us. We're out of cash, I think. But we could get another armor. Hmm. So it should have waited to purchase some items. Uh, is there something I don't need in here? Don't need the saber. Don't need the short bow. Don't need the shields. Get rid of the leather helmet. Don't need the cloaks. Don't- well, that has fire damage. I'll hold on to that just in case. Uh, what can we get with just a thousand? Anything? Uh, this gives two extra defense and three extra evasion. Hmm. Guess I could sell these. Our cash is one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's go get a better shield, I guess. Because this is 700 more gold for two defense, or this is 500 more gold for two defense and three evasion. So this just seems like a better choice. Let's switch over to the fight shield. Metal shield made specifically for use by swordsmen. So we're pretty tanky. Our damage is completely broken. We could potentially get leather gloves and things like that, but it's fine. Woman says, welcome, be 30 gold. Let's go to the south bank. So all this time we could have been doing the plot, but <laughs> we've chosen not to. Also, I should hold cancel. I like that he just vibrates as he goes south. So yeah, let's let's take a look at that new ability we just got, Claw Storm. Advanced technique that combines Thunder Claw and, and Autumn Sandstorm. I mean, I do like Autumn Sandstorm. Uh, Thunderclaw seemed decent. I guess we could put some focus into it. I don't really want Demonic Blade anymore. I could just leave that as Thunderclaw, I guess. We should always have an advanced technique here in case we need to stun an enemy, so for now I'll leave Demonic Kick there. Actually. I'm gonna leave Demonic Kick here, and I'll put Sandstorm as forward, because that's a thrust move. That makes a little more sense to me, and both kicks are up and down. That makes a little more sense to me. Time is a relevant tour party, take as long as you want, exactly. Oh, so I didn't even have to pay to go to the South Shore. That's kind of annoying. Oh, so they're gone. What happened to them? Uh, are they just gone? Like, <laughs> hello? Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, I forgot to see. Should we... Yeah, I guess we'll go from there. Hmm. I don't see her anywhere. Did we complete the side quest? Question mark? We'll, we'll leave town and save. I was curious about if we should use our rune bottles on anything right now or not, but not a certain. Yeah, I guess we should look for Nancy again. Oh, you know what? We never checked the second floor. Is he back in his office or something? Let's go double check that. I was just thinking about where they could be. Like, they weren't in the first floor, they weren't at the end, they weren't at the fountain. They could be back in his office. He is the president, after all. Oh, they are. Okay. So there we go, chat. We're advancing the plot. El oh, it's Elwyn's father, Doug. But he'll forever be Doug to us. Oh, be the one to decide who you'll marry. A country girl like that will never do. Oh. I mean, this is kind of what I was expecting earlier, but whatever. Why would you get to decide who I'm gonna marry? You don't have to know why, all you have to do is listen to what I say. I'm not your slave, Dad. <laughs> wow. Talk about privilege. 
Nancy, just forget about that girl already. I knew you didn't give a damn about anyone but yourself. How dare you talk to me like that? Elwyn! That damn fool. Who are you supposed to be? You can't just stroll in here. So, can we find them again anywhere, or... They're not on the first floor. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess if he's going to be here. What in the world should I do now? Will you encourage Elwyn? Sure. This better lead to an amazing reward, chat. Elwyn, don't look so down. But Father will never allow us to... Well, there's always the option of eloping. Barth, please don't say such rash things. No, actually, I was thinking the same thing. But that's so... If I leave things like this, neither Nancy or I will truly be happy. She'll meet some man named Jones and everything will be ruined. Things may be difficult, but from now on, whatever happens, we'll face it together. <laughs> if it gets us an orange gummy or an apple gummy, I might have to take a break from the game chat. <laughs> well, watching those two, you know something, though. You know somehow they'll make things work. What makes you say that? They have that special bond that some men and women spend their whole lives looking for. They'll both understand one day. So I guess we... I guess we completed the side quest? I don't see her around anywhere. So we'll just have to find them again in the future. I will make an emergency save here in case, for whatever reason, we missed out on them. And we'll check the skits one more time now that we've advanced the plot a bit more. What do they have to say now that we've traveled way far ahead? ダウスは魔術で<笑> Okay, so they they were asking in the first skit whether or not summoning would work on Dals, and we were assured by Clark that it comes from the same source of sorcery, so they should be able to hurt him. And then that second skit was more about them remarking that each of them has a, an accessory on their head. So they're making fun of the fact the protagonist had the bandana, and then Mint slash Aloe had a hat, which apparently came from her mother. And then Clarth recognized what the hat was, but he got interrupted. So, not sure what he was going to say there. So, apparently, we were having a conversation about the two characters, Nancy and L1 eloping, and then we're just kind of making fun of the fact that Clarth told them to elope, and apparently that really bothers Allo for some reason. So we're, we're saying to Clarth, you still can't use summoning, and I'm like, well, why do you have all those tattoos? And he's saying it was a reliable foundation for summoning, as he tries to defend himself. Also, there appears to be an island to the north. I'm not sure if we could reach that. Oh, they're asking about the Lone Valley. So apparently the man lives with his daughter there. Uh, they don't have anything new to say. I decided we'd be boring without tattoos. I mean accurate, chat, accurate. So there's a cave up there, but I can't reach it. 
I'm curious how much damage we do now with thrust attack. It must be like out of this world damage. Oh my gosh. Whoa! We two hit those things, basically? Oh my gosh. How much does Autumn Sandstorm do? <laughs> wow, what an attack increase. Oh, this is cheesy. This is so cheesy. Oh, chat, big damage increase. We'll take that gold. Oh no, chat. We are gonna we are gonna stomp every fight from now on. Oh my gosh, what a damage increase. We went from doing some sad 36-5 weapon to 51-15 or something. Yeah, Autumn Sandstorm is broken on this weapon. We should just take every encounter. I don't think anything can live this damage. It's actually insane. <laughs> Look at that! He didn't even survive the full thing! <laughs> oh my gosh. Actually broken. Well, I guess we're gonna get some easy money, chat. Look at that damage. Goodbye. Another orange gummy so we could spam more abilities. Clarth has leveled, so he should not die as easily, question mark. But yeah, that damage is actually broken. I'm so glad we chose not to do the plot first. We're gonna go fight a boss, and it's gonna be like, look out, this thing is so powerful, and we're gonna just, like, triple sword rain it out of existence. Uh-oh, another combat? Sure. Wow, it can't even survive that. How much does Demonic do? Oh, well, I whiffed all of the hits. We'll never know. Wow, the triple the triple kick is enough to kill an enemy at this point? That's insane. That's such a big damage increase for us, chat. And another orange gummy, which is good, because I think I'm just going to be using them on the protagonist. Speaking of which, I should be using charge. Can I use charge outside of combat? Because I don't care about her TP total. Ah, oh, I have to use it manually. That sucks. Because that would save me some time. That way I don't have to use an in, and I could just keep spamming skills over and over and over. Well, anyway, we, we broke the game. It's fine. <laughs> so, I didn't think we would be able to get to this many cities in a row, but... It is what it is, I guess. So I'm assuming because we got a skit about them eloping, they'll be okay, and we'll see them in the future. Also, we're gonna level soon. Which is just gross. Like, <laughs> honestly. Let's see, what does the game want us to do? Oh, there's a chest back here. Tame Thieves Mantle, which in the other game I think gives us evasion, so this should just be better leather mantle. Yeah, see, this gives double the defense and more evasion. Thieves Black Mantle, that boosts evasion. So we're basically unkillable right now, to be honest. Um, Let's go ahead and give him a leather mantle for more defense. Not sure if luck is actually worth it or not. Let's go in the building for now. Bart says, Sorry to be short, but you're Bard, aren't you? And you are? I'm Clarth. I seek a pact with the spirits of wind. I'd wait for a while if I were you. You still remember that last earthquake, right? Since then, all the spirits in the area have begun acting strangely. I can't get anywhere near them by myself, so I still don't know what exactly happened to them. I understand, but we're in a bit of a hurry. Speaking of which, I was hoping you'd be willing to part with that rune ring of yours. Of course, I'm perfectly willing to give you fair compensation for it. I don't know where you learned about this ring, but if you'll hear my request, I'd be willing to give you the ring in exchange. Oh, that was easy. I thought we'd have to go to the mines for that. What kind of request? To tell you the truth, my daughter went missing several days ago. I'm worried that she might have gone into the valley to check on the state of the spirits. The girl went alone? Doesn't she know how dangerous it is? Having such a reckless daughter, it's my curse. Alright, we'll search for her. My daughter's name is Arch. You'll recognize her by her trademark pink ponytail. Oh no, chat. A fourth party member already? I'm pretty sure that was one of the characters. Because we saw her name in the card game in Berseria. Despite her appearance, she's actually a tomboy. 
I guess you could say that she's kind of hard to miss. I see. We'll keep our eyes open for her. As far as the Spirits of Wind goes, you can most likely find them in the innermost part of the valley across the suspension bridge. Please, find my daughter. We tamed Opal. Alright. I mean, if she ends up being an archer, we're set, but I didn't see any bows for sale. What weapon is she going to end up using is the question. Or can she use the hand-me-down weapons? Because I don't mind giving her the battle axe or the, or the sword. Both of those would be fun. There's a book here on divination. There's also a book related to spirits. Aw, oh, we don't even interact with the fire. Okay, we can't rob this man anymore, so where else should we go? Don't forget to take a pickaxe and rope along with you. Veli is host to a great number of dangers. I believe if you go to Hamel, you should be able to buy what you need for the trip. Okay, we already did that. So it said we needed to go where? I guess up here? So we use the pickaxe. Oh, the wind is blowing us. And we're in combat, sure. Let's go see what happens, chat. We're fighting peep peeps. I remember those from tail. Oh my gosh, that damage. Oh my gosh, that damage is insane. Oh my gosh. It's beginning of insane. Give us that wonderful TP. There we go. Oh, she gave us six instead of five. Interesting. That's more than it listed. It said get five TP, right? Not six. Is that a typo on the game's part? Yeah, it said five. We definitely got six just then. Interesting. Retain bread. Uh, Restores cures poison. Restores health. Uh, I can use Steam Egg Custard, why not? Get a little extra health before the next fight. Let's see, can we fight these? It, it hurts! Boss music? Blue and red sylphs. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh no! Their weakness is Earth? No, their weakness is getting stabbed repeatedly. Nice try, game. Wow. Oh, give us more TP, by the way. That time I get 666 experience? What? <laughs> that was free. That fight was free, chat. Oh no. We're deleting boss fights. One by one, our companions are being driven mad from exposure to the air from the demonic realms. Wow, that was a deletion, chat. Air from the demonic realms? I see. So this is being caused by all that toxic gas. Toxic gas? You mean the self have a gas problem? Toxic gas? Barth, could you explain what you mean? It's known as miasma, the toxic air from the demonic realms. There's probably a distortion in the boundary that separates this world from the demonic realms and allowed that poison to seep out. So long as humans don't suffer prolonged exposure, miasma isn't a big deal. But for spirits, it's a different story. Then the rest of them may be affected just like the last spirits? We need to find a way to seal up the areas where the distortion is occurring, right? The sooner we take care of this, the better. That's true. Well, let's go ahead and use an orange gummy, because we're just actually OP. Meek ring for use in a summoning pack. Reduces damage from wind type attacks by half. Interesting. So we can't... Hmm. We can't seem to use the, the rune bottle on equipment yet. I guess we can have him equip this for now. And then give her the leather mantle, I suppose. Hmm. Well, we hit a save point. So one thing I'm not certain about, Chad, is that sometimes you can upgrade, like, accessories uh, in addition to, like, healing items. Not healing items, uh, stat boosting items by using... 
The rune bottle. But so far, I don't think we've seen anything that does that. Whirlwind. Whirlwind? They're very dangerous whirlwinds. Get caught up in one of those and you'll end up more than with more than just a scratch. What would cause that to appear? No doubt it's the result of the madness of the spirits of wind. Uh, oh, it pushed us through the whirlwind, which is kind of annoying. I actually wanted that treasure. Let's go take this item. Tend an apple gummy. So... I don't know if we're making progress or I need to defeat those others. That damage is actually insane, chat. I'm going to try not to use TP because our base attacks are just so powerful at this point. Wow, that range with the lance too is so good. More chicken and eggs. Lots of experience for very little trouble. So I think now we could technically go to the other caves if we really wanted to. So there's a cave there. There's multiple caves here. Uh, I, I don't, I don't know where the, I don't, I feel like, are these optional areas or no? All right, so we're not allowed to come through here. So I hope I didn't miss items because I took the other route. So I could save here and I could use rope. Oh boy, chat. I, I don't know which way is the right way at all. I kind of want to go back to the entrance if possible. Oh my gosh, that feels so satisfying. Yeah, can she please uh, charge us? Our, wait, our single strikes deny projectiles? That's amazing, chat. And they're worth, like, no experience. What is with the experience in this game, chat? Like, this is a harder area, and we got less than the starting area we were in. So I could use rope here. There is a save point there. There's enemies I can't deal with at the moment. So let's not go to the cave. Um, let's go to... Presumably I still have the rope, right? Or do I have to buy a rope per... Oh no, it did use it from our inventory. I'm a little concerned. The silk aren't here. And it must be because of the miasma. Okay, so this was a dead end. Okay, at least we ruled this out. So the cave has to be progress. So in order to progress, we have to go through here. But the question is... Can we go through this and backtrack? Oh, we got into an attack. I want to get that other item before we go any further. Goodbye, peep peep. And again, I don't really care about her TP. I only care about the protagonist TP. There we go. More chicken and eggs? Sure. So we're getting so many healing items, I could just cook once and be okay, I think. So that's pretty much a free cook every time we fight them, so that's not too bad. So that hurts us going through it, but honestly it does like no damage. I'm not that concerned. All birds are chicken, exactly. Tastes like chicken. Let's fight this enemy. Or not. Or apparently we can't do that. <sighs> okay, is there a way to fight them from here? We're, we're gonna walk outside and save, because I'm sure we can fight them. I'm just trying to figure out how we have to position ourselves to do it. So we took a lot of unnecessary damage, unfortunately. Easy fight. Super easy. Hmm. Is there really no way to encounter them here? Like, it looks like I should be able to fight them, right, chat? Like, look at this. How is that not a fight? Like, look at that. Hello? I, I guess we can't get whatever this is yet. Apparently. I, I don't see how we would do it, unless we somehow use the caves to get around them. So for now, we'll ignore them, I guess. I know. I It, it looked like I should have been able to fight them. I went through them, they clipped through me, whatever. We'll save here and continue. 
I mean, I'd like to fight them because they are ultra free experience for us. Like, they are super easy. So this is probably the first time in hard mode we've had a not hard boss battle. Just because of how broken this weapon is. Oh, she canceled the animation. That's a shame. Yeah, I should probably just avoid encounters with those. They waste my TP and they're worth like no experience. What a shame. Oh no, we still pick Axe and Rogue. Okay, we kept it. It was just not in alphabetical order. That's fine. So we're at max Apple Gummy, so I should just use them. Let's head downwards for now. We're gonna use the pickaxe to open a new path. A low vibrating screen. Hmm. So we have another treasure chest we could reach by going here. So I'm glad we went over here first. Any item it gives us is probably gonna be underwhelming because there's no weapon it could give us that would match this. Let's be honest, chat. The game is gonna force us to fight here. So let's make sure we orange gummy the protagonist. Almost got him with the single use of a skill. Um, I thought about leaving combat, but I've already committed. Also, that range with the thrust of the lance is ludicrous. I notice I have a little bit of a dead spot with my attack, but it's like I can work around that. That's not too bad. So we'll just get a little bit of TP back from that. Contain mixed gummy. Sure, whatever. Another opportunity to destroy. Vibrating screen, thank you. Another item, we had tamed spectacles. Okay, that'll help if we fight a boss. Living dead. Hey, new enemy. Let's investigate them with our spectacles. Weakness is light. So if we had the holy axe, this would probably have helped. But do we need it when we have a weapon that is just so good? It just does this much damage. And dead. Somebody got poisoned, we'll have to cure them. Okay, amount of experience in gold. Again, we're just looking to get cash, I think, for weapons from now on. Like, armor is nice, but not needed. Um, we could cook something to cure that. That should cure him. Nice. And we got a little health back. Now, it seems like there's a... Oh, there's another rope we could take down to get to that item. Got it. Oh, yeah, so now we're back here. So they're telling us to save them. Well, I'm going to liberate them from their fleshy prison, if nothing else, chat. Look at that damage. Oh, an actual attack spell. Huh. So that's a little concerning. Let's conserve our TP here. If she can charge again, I would appreciate that, actually. Perfect. Three rune bottles. Nice. Everybody leveled, and she gained a new spell. Nice. So we're just becoming even more overpowered for this area. Got it. That, that seems fair. What spell did she gain? Oh, can I not swap characters in this menu? Huh. Apparently I cannot. She now knows heal, which is his better first aid. I really wish she had an attack spell, because it's so painful not being able to do anything with her. So we're back up here. Tamed Kite Shield, which is probably what we're using, if I had to guess. Oh, it was the other shield we purchased. Yeah, that's not worth it. Uh, let's go get this item. Amber Cloak. Uh, we haven't been purchasing upgrades, so this should just be a straight-up increase. So now he's slightly tankier, so that works for him, I guess. Yeah, she might unfortunately be full White Mage. Wait, how- Wait, I still couldn't reach them? What? 
Oh, new enemy, Harpy. Neat. I'm glad we kept fighting here. Because I assume we already fought everything that's out here. Oh, that uppercut damage is insane, though, chat. Another orange gummy. Nice. Everybody got more TP. Awesome. She's now getting 7 TP. So she can almost get two first aids every combat, which is kind of silly. At least once you kill that enemy, we could backtrack easier. It's just like, how do we get in a fight with this thing? Right? It seems like we should be able to do that. Is there something I'm missing? Like, how do we not reach this enemy? I guess I can rub the wall to see if we could get behind them somehow, because that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah, we don't even need TP. Our party's so broken. Speaking of broken. Oh, I didn't realize that would kill her instantly. My bad. Another orange gummy, though. So, hey, I, I guess we don't have any TP concerns if everything keeps restocking us like this. So, is there a way to get behind them, like, over here? No? Is there a way to go, like, below the wind? No. Huh. I'm definitely open to suggestions on how you get that item. Like, I don't see... I thought we'd be able to reach them from the north, but... I don't see any hidden passageway to reach them. Uh, we got 7 TP out of that. That's not too bad. We'll have to use uh, more cooking again, I think. So again, because like we're she's always going to be basically full on TP due to how we have her set up. Uh, I think this does work for us. We'll get a light amount of healing here. Not bad. Hmm. Right, chat? Like, doesn't it seem like you should be able to reach them? Unless it's like you come from the... I don't know. Just weird. I'll ponder how to get through them in a second. Anyway, we have so many orange gummies. We should be good for this, the cave at this point. So I could just go TP crazy in a little bit. Yeah, it feels weird that we're not able to. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe it's possible we somehow come back to this area later. And that because I honestly don't see how we can reach it. So for now, if we can't get it from the north or the south, maybe we'll somehow come from the west, I guess. Speaking of which, let's explore this upper cave a little more. See if there's another place we could go to. Oh, were there new abilities we could be learning? We still don't have Tiger Fang. We get more Thunderclaw and oh, don't wor don't worry about the other move. Oh, interesting! It knocks them down pretty quickly. Oh, that's pretty cheap, actually. Goodbye, enemy. Two life bottles and a liquor bottle. Nice. We're looking pretty good for general adventuring, chat. I'm liking this. So yeah, there, we could go down this path, technically, which is where we came from, but we saw there's another rope somewhere. Let's keep looking for it. Or we'll get into combat, that's fine. Stupid leeches. Let's have somebody use orange gummy on us, it's fine. Speaking of which...
Maybe I should enable her charge technique. Just because I don't care about her TP total. Like, oh no, she's at 120 instead of 140. Like, we're going to burn, like, hundreds of TP every battle. Let's actually re-enable this. Oh, we could do an outside of combat. That's fun. Just in combat, it behaves slightly differently. That's good. Charge you, chat. Oh, ew. Uh, actually, we have to go through there. That sucks. Yeah, like, if we don't have orange gummies and we don't care about the character, it's probably better to do this. Like, we'll take so much more damage if we don't use this technique. Oh, I whiffed it completely. That sucks. Yeah, I don't like that that enemy, like, we just naturally hit over it. I wish they would fix the hitboxes. Like, look at that, chat. That's dumb. Like, when we're at the right distance, it works. Okay. Now we have to be a little more careful with her TP, but that's fine. And honestly, if we're going to use Orange Gummy, it makes more sense to use it on her, because she's got more TP anyway. So this still works out for us. This game is saying we collected 70 out of 339, so we could see what other things we've seen, I guess. Or really want to. Yeah, we just do that twice. Should be fine. So we can't interact with that at all. Dig through here. Oh, we should be able to move that boulder. Maybe we can use it to fill in that hole. Wow, we're taking a lot of damage. We're taking a lot of damage. What the heck? Wow, and you get random encounters here? That's brutal. That's actually brutal. Oh, I got poisoned. Annoying. We'll have to cook to heal. Get a little bit of TP back. We're gonna be making a lot of Steam Dead Custard, I have a feeling. Some health back at least. So I think it wants us to do this. Oh, that's neat. It got rid of the effect. Like visually and otherwise. So there's another enemy we can't really do anything with. I guess we should use the rope? Question mark. Aw, not this layout. This layout sucks. And it poisoned us. That also sucks. Let's just leave combat. It's not even worth it. <laughs> right, chat? They really aren't worth it. So that's a pretty dangerous forced damage section. I'm glad we're not, like, low level on hard mode, because that would be really horrible otherwise. Um, I guess we'll cook again. Uh, like, we could just barely not... How do we reach those? Right, chat? Like, it seems like we should be able to, but I can't. Unless you can get, like, through the wall here or something. Nope. Are these just items I have to come back for later? Because, like, there literally seems like there's no other solution for those. That thrust damage, though, chat. Mmm. Assert dominance. Goodbye, giant leech. Perish. We'll take that free TP. So she can still heal a decent amount of times in case we get into a boss fight. I can basically just insta-delete anything that looks at me funny, because Autumn, Autumn Sandstorm is just so overpowered compared to our other skills. Like, for 10 TP, that thing does, like, 20 skills worth of damage. Flush says, This area has truly become a miniature version of the Demonic Realms. With Miasma this thick, even some of the more powerful demons from the Demonic Realms might appear here. We meet one of them, we have to be sure to run away. Oh no. There's no way we can hope to defeat them. 
Uh, what? W what are you gonna do? All this is being caused by the miasma. Those demons can't remain in this world without it. Oh, so now there's just gonna be really hard monsters randomly in the high damage area? This kind of sucks. Hmm. Well, I want to get to that save point before we encounter a super demon. Lizardman, how tough are you? I wish I had more spectacles. Oh, you're not that much tougher. How did my how did my land strike completely whip him? Yeah, he's dead. Let's kill the lizard men. Uh, got a little more TP back, so now now I will probably end up leaning more on healing than anything else because this game is forcing me to take so much damage, which is very rude. I'm glad we did get orange gummies before coming here. Let's also make sure to cook between every battle. Because we'll need any kind of health we could get, I think, in between areas. That'll save up on the gummies. But yeah, what a brutal area. Oh gosh, please tell me there's a way to get rid of this. There's a boulder, but I don't know where to put this yet. <laughs> really? Wow, we're almost dead. How did that whiff him? I don't understand, he's got such a big character model. Oh, I got poisoned, how annoying. Why is she not healing herself? Okay, now she is. Lots of gold, but so far not really worth it. So great, there's, there's a dungeon where I have to figure out where to push the boulder, but it doesn't show me where to push it first. Oh, come on, we're gonna take so much damage because I just don't know the dungeon layout. Like there, another giant boulder in our way. There's a chest we could take. Yeah, I'm not liking this level design. Oh, there's one place we could put it. Okay, we got a talisman. We're getting attacked immediately before I can menu. I literally was ru- Oh. That's probably the enemy we should run from, if I had to guess. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here. 5,000 health? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's called the Hellmaster. Unfortunately, we're now out of spectacles, so I can't view boss stats anymore. Uh, I might just leave this dungeon, to be honest. Like, we're we're gonna seal it up. We're gonna come back with like full health, because this is just a really, really, really obnoxious mechanic, and I had no idea we were gonna be facing this. So this just sucks. Like, look how much damage I'm taking. Like, look at this. Very rude game. We'll continue to cook at least. Uh, that's. Oh no, there's more I have to place. We're we're leaving. I'm not doing this with this little TP and no spectacles and or gummies. Like this has now become very annoying. So, I guess you win, Dungeon? I thought this was gonna be free, but then, like, your gimmick was doing several thousand damage to us, which is super obnoxious, I might add. I see why it kept dropping us life bottles, because there's, like, no way we were gonna defeat this thing without any deaths normally. Oh, that did some decent damage. There we go. Yeah, this is just really obnoxious chat. I went from having a good time to not having a good time in one floor. I'm out of here. I don't care where this stupid rock is supposed to go. I want to get out of here. Horrible. This is horrible. Like, look how much damage I took. I'm at one health. This is so stupid, chat. 
it's one thing if it was just like a minor section or whatever that you took some damage but the fact that like you have to do it and it's like you don't know where you're supposed to go in it is super dumb i see why it tells the destiny let you get an item to negate the poison because this is so obnoxious Anyway, we'll get some orange gummies from this, then we'll go back to town and just restore. But yeah, not not a fan of this. <laughs> so who knows where we have to put that other rock, and we gotta take damage to exit as well. Uh, I'm gonna start using holy bottles. I'm, I'm pretty much at that point. Oh, we'll fight these for chicken and egg. That would actually help us out significantly. Yeah, it's just like we have a party that like I'm the only character that can do any damage in the whole party and it's just super awkward because these enemies can do a lot of damage to us potentially and if our allies get attacked by the lizard men they're pretty much dead so we'll get a couple of chicken and eggs just to cure more poison i guess but yeah we're, we're leaving here this area sucks <laughs> So, I don't know how you would have cleared this at all without the Super Spear. This honestly doesn't even seem playable without the Super Spear. I'll be real honest with you, chat. Also, I took like one step in the overworld and got into combat. Really, game? Oh, game. Ultra's dead. We'll kill the killer owls. We'll, we'll just max out on spectacles. And probably a couple orange gummies. Just because, like, I am going to use, like, four or more of them at this rate. Guaranteed. Given how much TP we have to spend on healing. Which I was not expecting to do, because when I was using charge, we only had, like, that one small room, and that wasn't that bad. But the fact that that whole area is poison, and on top of that, there could be more of those. Like, no way. Let's go to the Angel's Blessing. Let's go max some things. I don't need life bottles. Yeah. That's fine. So we're up to about 3k again. That's not too bad, I guess. Where? There's the inn. We're definitely sleeping and getting that TP back. So we will not use charge on her for now, since this dungeon just is like, I hope you've been level in mint slash aloe, or else you'll just die over and over. So thanks, game. This should be okay, I guess. I mean, we're not too far off from leveling, which is nice, but I'm not sure if walking in the mist does percent damage or static damage. I guess we would have to take a look next time we take damage. Speaking of- actually, I want to get fights in the overworld, I don't want to get fights in the cave, so I'm gonna hold off on the holy bottle. Because if we get more chicken and egg, this is good for us. Speaking of which... So we'll definitely fight this just to get healing items and supplies, because we definitely went through quite a few egg custards. Nice. So we're going in fairly prepped, I would say, at this point. Having 140 TP is like saving three or four orange gummies worth, so I think I'm okay with what we have. So we have to go back to the north. Let's go ahead and use a holy bottle. Hopefully this thing lasts for more than just like five seconds. Yeah, so we still get them in the entry, it looks like. We just don't get their defenses and stuff like that, unless we use spectacles. Whatever, chat. Um, is Talisman actually worth equipping on anybody? Like, is it better than Mantle on her, for example? It's exactly the same. We'll put it on her then. Speaking of which... Let's go ahead and use a Holy Bottle. Long way. I mean, it feels like I'm actually in less encounters. That's good. <sighs> of all the fights we had to get, it had to be the one that's hard to run away from. Annoying. 
Well, I'm just gonna commit then. Since the game is gonna waste my time carving through them. So yeah, so spears seem to have like a little bit of a dead zone directly in front of them, so I have to be careful with them. We'll get used to it, I think. So we paid for some of the spectacle costs already. That's fine. Well, here, here's the here's the dumb puzzle chat. Also, trying to save is rather finicky going vertical, I've noticed. It's way easier to walk on the save point if you're aligned vertically than if you're uh, horizontally aligned. Because it looks like it's pretty easy to save if you're at least at the right level. But it's very easy to just be like one step too far. Like in one D-pad press, I was off the save point from the center, which is kind of crazy. So where's this other hole we have to fill? Where? Oh, it's up here. Okay. Well, I'm in kill range, so let's use a uh, healing dummy on me, because I think I'm about to die. How did the... I missed him. That sucked. Ah. Uh. So she healed everybody but me. That's fair. <laughs> right, chat? That's fair. Thanks. Thanks, AI. I'm the only one doing anything on this team. So we have to come all the way back. We have to come all the way back up here just to drag this one. Wait, how do we? Wait, we have to go south with it, I think. So we're about to take like six bajillion damage. Um, How do I see how much health the things heal? We saw it briefly somehow, but I'm not getting an option to see it. We'll try having the cheeseburger. Yeah, like when we do it, it like briefly flashes it. I guess if I don't press a button afterwards, maybe I can see it. So I'm assuming I have to come from down here and then push it left. So obnoxious. Oh man, chat, this gimmick. Mmm. Wow, he actually got through my rapid stab. What a pro. Hopefully I can kill the Lizardman, since he more easily hits us. She should heal us as well here, which is nice. There we go. Not too bad. Got a little bit of TP back while getting guaranteed heals. Learned a new skill. Is it is a Tiger Blade? Because that's probably broken. Please be Tiger Blade. Or Tyra Fang, I mean. Uh, we're gonna get rid of Demonic Kick. Honestly, this is kind of a disappointment. Tiger Fang. Why'd she slash this clamping down on the enemy with Fangs of Tiger? So, this led to Infinites and Tales of Destiny 1. I'm curious if the same thing also can occur in this game. But honestly, Autumn Sandstorm is so powerful, it's kind of hard to justify not using Autumn Sandstorm all the time. Like, honestly, that ability just does so much damage. I don't even need to infinite, it just kills by itself. Oh, come on. How pixel perfect do I need to be? Thank you. Alright, Chad, that's one horrible thing down. Let's have another cheeseburger, and I won't press a button this time. All eyes recovered 20 plus 0% HP. So I think because I don't have any stars learned for the cooking recipe, we don't improve it. So presumably this should get rid of the Hellmaster. And, uh, yeah, where else are we supposed to go in here? Was there another exit that I missed, or... We just have to go back to the surface? Oh, they they just left. Contain rune bottle, sure. So there was no boss fight, we just... The boss was the environment all along. All right, for now, I think we've managed to prevent any more miasma from seeping into this world. Now let's go meet the Sylph. Bart said that Sylph can be found across the bridge in the innermost part of the valley, right? Yeah, that's right. Well, we'll go there eventually. Let's get this item first. A charm charm bottle. Also, I notice we're not fighting things in general, which I guess is kind of nice. Hmm. Uh, 
Oh, never mind. <laughs> the piece was the, the piece was short term. Oh, those uppercut damages though. Mmm. So she's slowly healing people. And we'll take the free gummies again. Okay. Cure status ailment, more more orange gummy. Not too bad. So we should be able to basically blitz any boss, I think, at this point. In case we do have to fight Sylph. I'm not really sure if we do or not. Now we're going to come back here. That is loud. Womp, apparently. Sylph says, you are the ones who saved us by eliminating the Miasma, yes? As was decreed upon this ring in ancient times, I would like to form a pact with those who command the winds. My... The markings on your body, your soothing heartbeat, and the power emanating from the ring. You have prepared yourselves completely for the task of summoning. Then, we shall grant you our power. However, before that, we have one request to make. Did we just forget about his daughter, by the way? Like, what happened with that side plot? Spirits have a request of a human? Yes, actually. Even if you form a pact with us, unless something is done soon, it will have all been meaningless. Well, definitely. If the Miasma comes out in the overworld, we're all dead. Bart says, I'm not sure I understand you. Why do you say that? Even as we speak, Mana, the source of our power, is disappearing from this world. If nothing is done, both the spirits and magic will vanish from this world. What? Why is this happening? Please, go at once to the forest of spirits and stand before the world tree Yggdrasil. Oh, that's awkward. Well, we know that tree doesn't do well in the future. If you take this, you should be able to meet with the spirit of the world tree. If you hear what she has to say, it may still be possible to prevent this calamity before it happens. Uh-oh, chat. Is Douse the lord of calamity? Dot, 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 dot. I understand. We'll go and see for ourselves. But first, I have a question I want to ask of you. Do you know anything about a young girl entering this valley alone, losing her way? If you know anything, please tell us. In the last several months, you three have been the only visitors to this valley. We have seen no other humans here aside from you. I see. Now then, let's form our pact. Upon the opal ring. Spirits of the wind, I desire a pact and ask you now, submit to me. Upon this ring we form our pact, spirit and master. He is the Lord of Calamity, exactly. It's, it's definitely not Dio as the Lord of Calamity, I'm just saying, chat. My name is Clarth. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could go back to Bedlam to see if we get any additional information. Clark now summoned the Sylph, which is good because he is pretty useless in combat. I would argue that he was the most useless character in our party so far, but hopefully he'll change things around a bit. You attain the elemental orb. Clark received a title, Tamer. Hmm. You know what, Chad? I was thinking about something. I was just thinking about something. Where did we see those boots again? Do you remember what city that was, chat? The one where the boots were kind of useless. I wonder. Actually, I also wonder about something else. Right, we got a lot of rune bottles. Can this actually be used on this accessory? I never looked. It can. What does it turn into? It becomes the Force Ring. 20% chance. Okay. I kind of remembered that you could use this in Tales of Destiny 1. But I wonder if those really terrible iron boots can be room bottled into something else. So maybe those really bad accessories are secretly good. They just require room bottles. 
I was just thinking about that. Alright, so now we got a super ring. So he gets 20% damage reduction. Did he get new abilities? Self, so, summon the spirit of wind, one of four great spirits. Uh, so he's got one spell, but I guess it's better than nothing. So let's go back and check the other item stores. Oh, we ignored the daughter again. You did it! Just now, the wind regained its former vitality. Yeah, and? There was no sign that your daughter had ever entered the valley. After the spirits returned to normal, we even tried asking them, but... I see. Just where in the world did she go? That arch. Please, don't lose hope. From now on, with every city we visit, we'll ask around for any news of your daughter. It goes dot 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 dot. Thank you. I guess we'll talk to him again in case we could get a title. So they're saying we should visit the forest of uh, spirits. If I remember correctly, the forest lies to the south of Belladin Village. Yeah, that's right. No fourth party member, I guess. He apparently leaves Arch in our hands, even though we haven't found her. So he's just like, yeah, she's out there. Whatever. I don't need to go. So let's just briefly go back to some of the other locations. I just want to see where the boots were. Those were, I think, in like an accessory store, right? One of these. Oh, we don't have time for this. Instead of wandering around a place like this, let's head to the Spirit of Forests. Oh, but it still lets us go anyway. So I'll just ignore him. Did this place have the ridiculous iron boots that seem useless? No, it was the other town. Got it. We'll buy more holy bottles. I know, I'm glad that we aren't just forced to leave town. I, I am happy about that, I must say. <laughs> that must plot or not, exactly. We're gonna go back to the north. I want to purchase those boots and use the rune bottle on them. So we should be keeping an eye out to see if we could get any useful items at all via this method. Also, this damage is insane. Oh, let's have him use his ability. Which he has disabled by default for some reason. Wow, that was basically a one-shot of those enemies. That's kind of crazy. Okay, I mean, if he's just going to do 300-something damage, he's already proved his usefulness. We'll take that. Yeah, that should speed up combat significantly. We might have to disable it so he doesn't completely run out of TP, or we could change his strategy. Yeah, let's tell him to use conserve TP. I want him to be at like 80% or more, or 75% or more, I would say. So hopefully that'll keep him about there. But if he could speed up normal encounters like that, I do appreciate it. Now, where was that useless item? Oh, that's right. We had to take the boat to get it. That's right. I think. Or could we get it from another store? Hmm. I don't remember, chat. I wish I did remember. Because there's the armor shop down there and a weapon store. Also, I like the music gets quiet when you go near the fountain. I mean, I can always suppose... I suppose I could always check out the other stores. Oh, I just realized. Before I do that, there was an item shop that I could reach by going south. Oh, I don't think we ever went to this boat. We saw it, but didn't go to it. Let's talk to these people. You wouldn't be happy to be looking for a ship, would you? If so, have you tried negotiating with the captain? Because we're all really bored. Yeah, this ship was an oceanic vessel bound for Midgard, but because of the war, we can't dock here. In all honesty, if things don't settle down, we're going to be out of jobs. Okay. I mean, I guess we could explore the boats. You're looking for the captain. Wouldn't his room be the first place to look? Got some business with him. Why don't you go see him there? Bartender welcomes us. Yeah, let's explore this boat real quick. I went to talk to it like it was a cat. It was a mouse. Oh, they have uh, very similar looking ships. Got it. So he's not even in the captain's room, which is where they said to go look. So thanks, game. I guess we can't talk to the captain chat. Or I guess that makes me the captain now. Either or. 
So let's just leave. So I think that we could go... Instead of there... Let's see if we could reach the south bank by doing this. Or did this place have the iron boots? Welcome. We did. Movement by 20%. Let's go ahead and do that. Now that we have a spare rune bottle, we can apply it to it. They become jet... I meant... I did not mean to double press that. That is so annoying. Okay, I don't like that at all. But apparently we can move them back and forth. So unfortunately I did waste uh, two rune bottles out of that. But we still have four left. Whatever. Jet boots. A pair of magical boots for men that make you feel lighter and boost movement speed by 50%. Uh, sure, we'll take extra movement speed. Let's make sure Clarth is a little tankier. Wait, if I do this, can he still summon? He can. So that's just an item to reduce wind damage. I don't technically need it. Gotcha. I was worried we'd only be able to have certain summons on at a time. Like, every, like you have two rings, so you only get two summons kind of deal. But it doesn't look like it works that way. So I think what we'll do is we'll go to the forest and we'll go a little further, I guess, with the plot, but not too much further. Also, I keep the keep hitting start like it's the skip button. Let's try this. Alright, so both skits basically boil down to Clarth being concerned about Mana uh, disappearing from the world, and then the game reminded us twice that the forest is south of the village we started at. There we go. Easy victory, chat. So once he gets a little more levels, I think he'll recover enough to use the spell every combat. Which is good for us. I notice he also doesn't seem to be going TP crazy with the current setting, which is good. So presumably he'll still use it on bosses and such. So to the south we go, chat. Honestly, the auto the sandstorm ability with this is so broken. But speaking of which, what did I assign uh Tiger Fang is down and then button? Got it. It's not bad. I still prefer the autumn sandstorm. It at least anti-airs people, which is nice. Like maybe it'll have more purpose in the future, I suppose. Also, I realized because we're just going to be healing in a little bit, I could just tell him to spam spells. So we'll go back through the city of Hamel. And we'll just immediately leave. We'll use the inn back in Bedlam Village, I think. And honestly, those cave monsters should be easy. Maybe we'll get revenge on them before going too far. back in Euclid Village. Nothing really changed here, presumably. We'll make another save here, just in case there was something we could miss here. I kind of doubt it, but I'll check later. But for now, let's make our way back to Bedlam Village. We'll try talking to the mayor slash the elder to see if he has anything to say. Wow, that damage is insane. The enemy should just be straight up dead. Yeah. There we go. 
required more spectacles, sure. Uh, I guess I could go back to the cave, question mark? We don't need to go through the valley because we got the bonus items there, so we'll just run to just get through this area. Silly enemies. Two hundred something damage. Wow, they're almost dead in three hits with that. If we got two of those in a row, it would actually be a two-hit kill. Which is rather silly. More bread and chicken, of course. Aloe has leveled, so she's more TP just to heal us, I guess. That is that is her only purpose in the party, chat. Why bother giving her equipment? Honestly, other than armor, so she doesn't die. I don't even care what her accessories are, unless we could get her to fast cast. But even then, I'd still rather have that on the summoner. More killer birds. Yeah, like that, that's pretty good for anti-airing. I think I'll try to do that from now on if we're fighting the owls. Just do the tiger blade into that. Required more chicken, nice. So we're gonna go visit the cave again, just to see if there was any item I missed. And if nothing's there, then we just leave. I am kind of curious if you could brute force it, but I don't feel like doing that on stream, if I'm gonna test it out. Because there's only so many words you could form with it, right chat? Because it was, what, three or four options? Hmm. It doesn't seem like there's anything down here, unfortunately. It's kind of like the password system Tales of Destiny 1. You could definitely cheese it. I think because we never fought them before, I guess we could spectacle them. Don't die, Clarth. Oh, he's casting a spell. Yeah, like, we're doing decent damage to them, but this is still obviously very slow. We got them in kind of an attack loop. That's all that matters. <laughs> this is still pretty tedious, I must say. Yeah, we're gonna leave, definitely. We killed the, the real threat. Hopefully she just heals. There we go. I'm glad he cast wind magic to speed this up. That is so slow. Much better. So that did almost 400 damage, which is pretty impressive given how little we do in general to those. Yay, a fight that wasn't really worth it. Yay. <laughs> Don't you love it, chat? All that fight, barely worth more than two outside encounters. Like five times the difficulty, no reward. Let's holy bottle just to make sure I don't get attacked again. Also, I really wish it would keep my order the way I had it. Yeah, let's just get out of here. So we are strong enough level, we could technically go past the door, I guess. 
I think no matter what, I want to leave a save point here, because if we learn the password in the future through story, I'm curious if we're allowed to enter it at this point as well. Because that would also mean I don't have to brute force it. Oh, there's nowhere else to go. I guess we'll go this way. I'll make sure she's not at the docks or something weird. And then we'll continue. But we'll be going to an inn pretty soon. So we'll get most of our TP back. Love her doing four damage. Mmm. Yeah, we do move pretty quick. Which is kind of nice. Fire their spectacles again. Okay, we don't have to get one of those, I suppose. So we'll just double check that nothing has changed here, and if nothing has changed here, we just leave. Because this looks like when we get ship access later, this is how we would come back to this little continent. So we'll keep in mind that there is a docking station over there. So for now, we'll just cross back over here and go into the village. And let's go speak to Elder. We can tell the Elder his, uh, weapon shop sucks. Oh, you met my brother in Venezia. Yes, he asked us to pass along his tidings if we meet again. I see. I suppose I should see him once in a while. We'll leave and come back just to see if he leaves. Nope. Hmm. Holy Bottle did not last very long. So that, that was my big pro big problem with it in Tales of Destiny 1. It just faded in like less than like 10 minutes. It's just gone. Not even 5, I feel. Also, was there really not an inn we could use here? Or am I just not seeing it? Because that was the item shop. Uh, that's a shame. I thought there was an inn, but I guess I misremembered. Oops. That sucks. Well... Whatever, we'll, we'll just keep going. I'm not gonna walk back to an inn for that. If we really need to, I have orange gummies. This area shouldn't be hard unless we fight a boss here. So we'll just make our way back to Yggdrasil. Which is just in the forest. Just, just so happens to be there, Chad. Well, that's definitely overkill for that enemy, but we'll take it. Come on, uppercut. There we go. Also, I should probably cook something in case we do, for whatever reason, get into a story fight here. I'd like to not be at low health. So we'll make hamburger. Which now heals 12%. Not bad. So, Aloe's at a, above 1000 health max now, which is kind of nice. Larth has quite a bit to go. It's a shame he cannot learn more abilities. So he's just literally strictly story progression. More like chicken burger with those ingredients? Exactly, chat. Lurt says, Is this the world tree Yggdrasil that Sylph we're talking about? What is this? Hello, loud sound effect. We meet again. This light is... You can see me, can you not? You can hear me, can you not? In that case, I ask you to listen, says Spirit of the Tree. The time of disaster is drawing near. Even if you only hear my words, I still wish you to know.
I am the spirit that dwells within the world tree Yggdrasil. I am Martel. Oh, that's a name that comes up again in the future. Okay, spirit of the tree. Even as we speak, the life of the world tree Yggdrasil is coming to an end. But it... But isn't death part of any normal life cycle? Normal life cycle? The world tree took root in the days when this world was first given form. It has no life cycle. You must realize what it would mean for mana to disappear from this world. Mana is the source of life from which the spirits, magic, and all creatures are born, and the world tree is the source of mana itself. Were you not aware of this? What? Is that really true? In this entire world, this single tree is the source of all mana? That is correct. Do you really ex- Excuse me. Do you really expect us to just accept a claim like that? Everything I have told you is the truth. Don't you hear the ominous music? Trust me. Perhaps you'll be willing to believe me after the world tree has already withered away. Once the spirits and magic have vanished and all is lost. I think this spirit is telling us the truth. Because a hundred years from now, in the world in which Allo and I live, magic does not exist. And also, I've seen it for myself. This tree had withered away, only the lifeless trunk remained. Then... it's true? If that's the case, mana is es oh, excuse me. Mana is essentially if the world tree Yggdrasil is to continue living. However, the amount of mana consumed by magic should not be substantial enough to deplete the supply of mana. Then why is it happening? That I do not know. However, whatever it may be, it is capable of consuming mana at an alarming late rate. Is there nothing we could do to save the tree? If magic disappears from the world, then we have no hope of ever defeating Daos. And all of my research really will have been for naught. Only the lifeless trunk has someone cut it down? Yeah, I mean, it could technically come back. We'll see. It's definitely propaganda, Trat. Yes, we're talking to Martri. Spirit of the tree, indeed, chat. Wait! I still have things I need to ask! Too bad, she doesn't like talking to us. I wish to try something. Hmm? She gotta try to heal the tree. It seems my power alone is not enough. If only I were as powerful a Methodist as my mother, then maybe. I know, it would be better if she had more spells. I don't think this problem has such a simple solution. If mana disappears from this world, magic will vanish along with it. And if we can't defeat Daos before he travels further into the future, we'll have only lost our only chance to defeat him? If we can't put a stop to whatever is depleting the supply of mana, nothing else we do will matter. Why does she sound like Pikachu for a moment there? She's heal at you, chat. Unless we could solve that problem, we've... We've all done nothing but po postpone the inevitable destruction of the world. You say we need to put a stop to it, but where do we go from here? Working with the assumption that the ability to use magic is directly related to mana, perhaps Daos is behind all of this. And if we defeat Daos, it's possible we could be killing... Excuse me, we could be killing two birds with one stone. Although, I doubt things will end up being so simple. Currently, of the spirits known to exist, the most powerful is said to be Luna, the spirit of the moon. And I've heard that the ring needed to form the summoning pack with Luna could be found in the Moria mine. Oh, I was one step ahead of the plot. Oops. <laughs> right, chat? The Moria mine? Well, I don't know all the details, but supposedly the mine is connected to an old dwarven settlement. It's controlled by the kingdom of Alvanista, unsurpassed in their advanced magical culture. If we head there, I'm sure we'll be able to figure out what our next move should be. Hmm. To get there, first we'll need to head to the port city, Venezia, which we've been to twice now. From there, we could go to Alvanista by sea. The Mines of Moria, all right there, Tolkien. 
I'll take your word for it. I'm not really too familiar with other works of fiction, but I mean, it feels like this game is definitely borrowing off of something in general. I mean, we have Yggdrasil after all. Blunder says, well then, I guess our next destination is the city of Venezia. Well, I guess we'll leave, we'll do some skits, and I think we'll stop around the time we reach Venezia. I feel like that's that's a good stopping point for the session. Ooh. Do that wind magic, kill them. It's called Killer Owl, but it should be called Dead Owl, right chat? I <laughs> can't stand up to this party, get out of here. Silly Owl. Ooh, you are dead. We acquired more chicken, the source of life. Or killed Owl, that's good too. Anyway, we're gonna have a happy little run through the town. Oh, so we have quite a few villages to go back through. So unfortunately, this game did make us backtrack, but we'll get some TP along the way, I guess. Fortunately, this shit just one-shot the python. Or it didn't, huh? Not quite strong enough yet, apparently. Hopefully soon, we'll get a little better. So if we do end up in a story encounter, at least we have 31 TP, and our healer just gained like another 20 TP. That's not too bad. I feel like it would take almost as long to escape as to just do the encounter at this point, so I probably won't be escaping for a little while. So unfortunately there's no inn here, so we'll just keep going forward. So back to the north we go, chat. Let's do little micro adjustments there, and somehow did not get into an encounter. Thank you, thank you encounter rate, you blessed us with mercy. Are we also going to leave here without an encounter? Wow. Wow, we went through that whole screen, didn't get fought once? Oh, see, that's fair. You, you can save it for there. No mercy indeed, chat. No mercy. That is... That is a very killed owl, chat. See, we're looking pretty good TP-wise, I must say. Only Clarth hasn't really been burning anything at all, which is okay. More chicken and eggs, sure. Back to the north we go. Let's go visit this town. Euclid Village, sure. We'll use the inn here. Welcome, will you be staying with us? One night is 24 gold. Now we could just go wild chat for a little bit. <laughs> so I'm feeling pretty strong. Feels pretty... Pretty good, chat. Feels pretty good. And we finally have a spellcaster, which does add to some damage. Unfortunately, he does not learn fireball, so I'm disappointed. I'm hoping we do get an actual spellcaster at some point, because I think we saw, like, a, a witch in the intro. So maybe she'll know those basic spells we're used to from the other Tales games. Um, summoning sometimes shows up in Tales games. You'll, we'll be seeing a lot more summoning in uh, Tales of Eternia, which we'll do after this game. So get ready for more sylph and things like that, chat. <laughs> also, I should have been using techniques there. Oh well. Speaking of which, how much gold are we at? Almost 3k, not bad. So we're forced to go into this town, so let's see, are we gonna get new plot elements here? Oh. Well, I'm glad we did every single uh, plot thing before coming here again. Ikram123 says that's a killer game. Yeah, we'll definitely be doing that game next on the list. Because technically it is after Tales of Destiny. Allo says, how horrible. Were there no survivors? Well, I'm glad we purchased all the items we needed, chat. Well, they were saying that wasn't God grade and God would protect them. Oh, hey, pink hair lady. Are you all right? Oh, I... I seem to be unharmed. What in the world happened to this city? Demeter. Huh? The sorcerer who attacked the city. He... He killed my papa and mama.
Oh. Oh, yeah, we were learning about Demeter earlier from the church. I mean, I guess the game is not leaving any ambiguity about the master dying, how he died in an accident, giant air quotes. Blonder says, if you're gonna after him, I'll help you. Huh? Come on now, we don't have time to be running around like this. Do you know spells? That would help us. But we can't just ignore someone suffering right in front of us. Sure we can, we just have to turn the other way. Hey, come on, not you too, Allo. Well, thanks for joining, Kirk. I think we'll actually probably stop here. <laughs> and we'll leave, uh, go into the city next time, I think. But thank you for watching, Kirk. I was just looking for a plot point to stop on. This, If we get another party member here, this would be an excellent point to stop. Blonder says, I know that we've got no time to lose, but still I... There's something bothering you two. You're both acting rather strange. Fade to white. We're having flashbacks to our dead parents. Always a good sign. No, it's nothing. But I won't abandon this girl. I agree with Blonder. I want to help this girl. Hmm. Well, if you're both going to go that far, then I won't argue with you. In that case, why don't you go ahead and tell us what you know about this sorcerer? If our opponent is capable of using magic, we need to get as much information about him as we can. I'm not sure exactly where Demeter lives. However, I know that when he left the city, he headed north. Oh, you mean like to that cave directly north of the other town? Got it. I see. Venezia lies in that direction, so I imagine that if we head there, we should be able to find out more about him. Um, I don't know how I can ever thank you enough. Truly, thank you so much. I apologize for my late introduction, but my name is Rhea Scarlet. Oh. Wait, no, we learned about Scarlet, not Demeter. Never mind. But that doesn't mean he didn't kill the master. So we'll still put that on hold. I'm Aloe. Rhea, it's a pleasure to meet you. Next to me is Blonder, and over there is Clarth. <laughs> right, chat. Hmm. I need to. If she's gonna be a party member, I have to think about what to do with her voice. I'll think about it later, though, chat. For now, I'll just use this voice. It is my pleasure to make your acquaintances. Oh, she just joined as an NPC. Oh, we can't rename her. Interesting. So technically we got another party member, but she can't do anything. I do appreciate that she shows up in our party menu, even if she doesn't directly help. Oh well. Uh, how do we leave here? Was it up here? Yeah. Yeah, I love... You just gotta you put, put emphasis on the Clarth. I think this might not be a bad point to stop. Let's, uh, do another skit, I guess. Alright, so we just got told we're suckers for sob stories, and he basically chastised us. But he also said that maybe people have heard about him, since he's probably not going to keep a low profile. Okay. That skit was just basically saying, so Demeter went to the north. We can assume he might not be in the Venezia itself. I'm assuming he's in that cave, to be honest. Guess we'll see how that turns out. Hmm. So I guess in general, is it possible I missed a skit on the other one? I guess we'll check real quick. I was just trying to think if I did a skit once we talked to the spirit or not. 
So we'll go back a save file. We'll just check each of these one more time, chat, just for skits. Then I think we'll conclude. This was after we exited the cave. Got it. Yeah, I wasn't sure if we did a skit. Chat can correct me, because I have terrible short-term memory. I have good long-term memory, terrible short-term memory. Now we'll just run from combat. So, I'm not sure if she'll end up being a party member or not. I don't remember if her name was in the Berseria card game we played. She could turn out to be something more than what she's saying. Who knows? Arch was definitely one of the characters we could get. I think there was also Suzu, because we, we kept forming the ninja combination with her. I'm not sure when we'll come across that character in this game. But we'll take a look, I guess. Don't really recall too many other characters. I remember the guy with the hat and the archer, and that's probably literally it. So if there's other party members, that'll be a surprise to me. So let's just skim through the dialogue here and check for a skit. And I guess we could talk about thoughts and feelings of the game so far, since we're just kind of backtracking. So... So far... Oh man, that sound effect gets me every time. So far, I'm enjoying the game. I think now that we've gotten a super broken skill for the protagonist, I'm kind of happy that, you know, combat is going pretty quick, even on hard mode. Hopefully that will be a trend going forward that we could get more super weapons. I see Chad is saying something. I don't know if they'll really give us two pink-haired girls, though, and they already said Arch had pink hair, so maybe Rhea doesn't join us. Possibly. I mean, would this game do enough of a twist to make her a villain character? Although she does, I demand we rename Rhea to Fina for East reference. Fair enough. But in terms of story, I mean, like... I'm not going to say standard. There, there's some things that are kind of, you know, very heavily dipped into the tropes. Like we're now talking to, we're talking to Yggdrasil, which happens quite often in many JRPGs. Um, but I think the element of time travel keeps it a little more interesting in general. I'm not sure if we'll end up impacting the future, quote unquote, or how much we'll shift around in time. So I'm not sure if like once we go to the present, are we there forever? For example, or are we going to shift back in two between the two things? That is yet to be seen. We are trying to kill you, Drizzle, this time. That's true. So for now, things are working out well for us, I suppose. But other than that, um, you know, I, I would say the big letdown so far is that we haven't really gotten a really interesting party member that does damage since we've lost the Bowman. So I don't feel like we've gotten a real proper replacement. Like both of these characters feel really incomplete. Like obviously like Mint slash Aloe is like good at healing, but like I want more than that in a party. Like if I just want to heal, I just bring gummies, right chat? It's just like until she gets like an AOE heal or a revive or something, I don't see what her purpose is like in the mid game. And we'll probably be getting rid of her as soon as possible, to be honest. I don't really like support characters in a game so offense-oriented. Yeah, so I'm hoping we get more melee-oriented characters. Um, like, the witch look kind of interesting, so if we end up with two sorcerer kind of characters, that could be fun. I'm trying to think if there's anybody else we saw in the intro. I mean, Arch could be like another melee character, potentially, or be another bowman, I suppose. Having two bowmen would be pretty silly. Okay, let's see if there's any skits. Alright, so they're just saying we just have to form more packs, I guess. I don't know if there's like a skit viewer, quote unquote, but for now I guess I could resave here. It doesn't really matter. Let's see if there's any more skits that were here. Oh, so we only missed two minor skits. The second one was just saying, how do we reach Alvinista? We have to go to Port Venezia and charter a boat. Ah, uh, not, not too much in terms of misses. I did say I would check out one more save file, so we'll go backwards slightly further. 
and we will see if there's any skits missed there. And if not, we'll just conclude our talks, I suppose. I think this is where the skit was. Let's double check. Oh, it was after Lone Valley. Uh, I guess not, chat. So for now, we'll pause. And let's talk about our expectations for next time. So, I think, hopefully we'll get a fourth party member. I'm really hoping for that fourth party member. We're going to be finally using a boat to explore more of the past. So I'm expecting uh, a longer dungeon coming up. We're going to have to go to the Mines of Moria. And that will allow us to get a second spell for the other character. He'll have a bit more coverage for us, so he'll be good, presumably, against Undead, if it does light magic. But other than that, I'm not really too sure what to expect, other than our weapon is completely busted, so I have no reason to ever swap out of the spear until we find another town. Um, going forward, we'll probably just save money for weapons, and if we get to a new continent, I think I'll spend time purposely going to the other towns. That way we don't accidentally spend money on things we don't need. We'll also probably junk our elixirs, because honestly, I never use them in games that have them anyway, and I'd rather get the 5k at this point in the game. So if, if we're shy money rather than grind for like two hours to get it early, I'd rather just sell one elixir just to be able to purchase it. So I think we're doing not too bad throughout the game. I mean, we had a death today, but that was just kind of like whatever. Like we, we didn't expect to get very far in the cave. Um, I might hold off exploring that cave until the future. I think it would be more interesting if instead of brute forcing it, we once we learn the password in game, what happens if we just apply it and see what happens in the past? Because we do have that one save file to double check. So I think that's about it in terms of expectations. So hopefully you had a good time. I definitely appreciated the comments and conversations throughout. But for now, I think it's safe to say thank you all for joining and I hope you have a good day or a good night, depending on the time zone.